Alrighty. Uh, so yes, so um, last time we got back from the the warehouses, and you were very eager that to, or you wanted to go question, uh, Chris and Lillian, as I recall. Yes. Yes, I did. Yep, I have my notes. So. Gotcha. Well, some of my notes some at least. Of them, yeah. Alrighty. And. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, what was what was the guy's name that I'm that I'm supposed to meet or whatever uh, or the one that will take me Jack to Jack Van Daniel is coming to come collect you. Jack Jack Van Daniel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so how much time do I have before he he comes? Ah, uh, he's due any any time now. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, you pestered to meet each other previous day, and he's she's been pestering him as well to try and get this organized because you know what to meet just like she doesn't like being pestered for too long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh. Oh. So, yeah, it's about mid-morning about this time. Uh, the rest of the team has already, like, upped and left, so they're out having fun and games, getting their asses kicked by the cutest little things in the world. Um, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. I can't... I, I really do need to edit that video, but I'll do that after this. I say I had no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the, but okay. The previous group session, but yes. Uh, oh yes, yes. And I, I, I know you yeah, meant that. You don't know exactly what. Yeah. Uh, basically, a fight broke out, and I kind of kicked their asses. We'll see if I, we'll see if a round two get breaks out. That hasn't been determined yet. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So yeah. Um. Alright, uh, so I really don't have much time, so I mean there's no point in really doing anything like going out into town, trying to get anything. Uh, if you want to do, if if you, do, if you want to do some shopping, you probably have a little bit of time. Uh, how much gold do I have? Uh, you have 198. There we go, purse. 198. Yeah. Uh, where is... Where is the list of updated item stuff? Um... So if you go into the Google Drive, do this. Um, uh, uh, this one. Yeah, maybe. it should be nope, right that in is, that folder. That is the scheduling one. It will be. Uh, nope, not that one. I think it's the last one. Marble Fire's um. Shop inventory yeah, list. Uh, so it's if you're looking for the magic item updated list, it's Rivius is good. Good. Signet ring, disguise kit. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. Don't need any gemstones. A paper bird is a magic item. Okay. It's actually quite nifty when you look when you actually read about it. <laughs> oh, I should... You tell me because I I have no yeah, idea. I'll fill up the the thing. So paper bird. Uh, item. Uh, after you write a message of 50 words of fear on this magic sheet of pa uh, parchment and speak a creature's name, the parchment magically folds itself into a tiny paper bird and flies to the, recip to the recipient whose name you uttered. The recipient must be in the same plane of, of existence as you, otherwise the bird turns into ash as it takes flight. Uh, the bird is an object that has one hit point, an armor class of 13, a flying speed of 60 feet, and a dexterity of 16, and a score of uh, 1 to all other abilities, and it is immune to poison and psychic damage. It travel uh, it travels to within five feet of the intended recipient um, by the most direct route, whereupon it turns into a non-magical and inanimate sheet of parchment that can be fold unfolded only by the intended recipient. If the bird's hit points or speed is reduced to zero or if it's otherwise immobilized, it turns to ash. It's a it's a magic homing bird. A homing it, pigeon. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but paper birds usually come in small flat boxes containing 1d6 plus 3 sheets of parchment. So there's a couple of charges on there. And boots of false tracks. Oh, this is a nifty one, as I recall. Um, boots of false tracks. Uh, only human noise can wear these boots. While wearing the boots, you can choose to have you can choose to have them leave tracks like those of another kind of human noise of your size. Interesting. 
definitely interesting, but I don't know if I would have any real use for that. So, and all the all the weapons and stuff are still base weapons, no pluses. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I really need anything. Yeah, just the magic items. The same stuff. I can't. I can't afford any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So. We're getting up there. Yeah. A little, little bit at a time. But okay. Alright, uh, nothing else? No potions? Um... I I think I have all my potions. I didn't use any during the, um, during our last, well, the the one session that I was yeah. in. Uh, yeah, I still have my five antitox ointments mm -hmm. and the five potions and my two health potions. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, good. So, really. Alrighty. Uh, so you've headed downstairs again yeah, you're kind of just chilling with Sumitra while she's tidying up the kitchen after the disaster of these guys all left this morning uh, of course it naturally is. Colin is very good at cooking but sometimes he forgets to clean up after himself especially when there's uh, things to do especially after he's just come back from his date <laughs> and there's a bottle of a, there's the remnants of a 200 gold bottle of wine on the table as well <laughs> so <laughs> Take, make what you will of that. <laughs> okay, where where is this bottle? It's just here on the table. <laughs> okay, well I'm going I'm going to take that bottle. Uh huh. And, 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 uh, you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna store it for a little bit. <laughs> There's not very much left in it. There's probably only like a couple of mouthfuls left in it. Yeah, well I mean hey, nice wine is nice wine. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be funny for when they come back. Um, after, um, maybe about 20, 30 minutes, uh, there is a, a knock on the door. Zemich just kind of, like, dumping, like, her rubber gloves on the, on the table going, Oh, thank God! Something to distract me from all of this bullshit. Please, please, please don't be who I think it... Not who I was hoping for! Hi! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, sorry, darling, were you expecting someone else? I was expecting a few other fans to turn up, but no, apparently not. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> uh. I presume it's been a slow day. Oh, you have no fucking idea. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Jack will kind of eye you up here and you'll go. Not going on the mission? I've got some other business. That's why I called you. Fair, fair. So, I was told you wanted to question some people. Correct. And those people would be... Chris, and remind me of the Lily. other woman's name. Chris and Lily. Oh, that's going to be an interesting interview. Uh, I suppose I can take you down there. Uh, no weapons, by the way. It's, it's pretty pointless at this point. They, they'll just strip you down by the time you get down there. <laughs> I never leave without at least some weapon on me. Mm, fair enough. You are a monk, though. I presume you're, you yourself are just a living weapon, but uh, hey, oh, who am I to judge? <laughs> I feel inadequate without it. <laughs> oh, I have so many jokes, but it's hardly appropriate this time. <laughs> They're currently stored in a prison cell and within Front Thrust HQ. A little bit odd, I realize, but surprisingly secure. They only have the. All right. Here you go. Are his children being held in the same oh, area? Oh, no, no, they're elsewhere. We're not complete monsters, so the kids are at a uh, specialized facility for juvenile members of Amex. Rare, but sometimes happens. Okay. Right, uh, I'm just going to save us some time. I'm just going to fast travel, is there? <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, 
Oh, why do you always bring me in there? Ah, that's the point. Right. Okay. Uh. So you head your head down towards the Warrens. Um, but luckily for you, Fen wasn't on duty today, so you you managed to avoid getting a an earful from him. Hmm. Uh, and you get a, a car right down to front doors HQ. Uh, it's surprisingly quiet at this time in the morning, actually. Not not very much foot traffic at all in the area. Well, I haven't been here that much, so I wouldn't even know mm -hmm. of what would be peak time, so I can't really comment yeah. on it, so. Well, yeah, um, well, especially from your last visit, it's a little bit quieter for, from even then. Gotcha. <sighs> so out of curiosity, lad, what exactly are you hoping to get out of these two? I'm looking for someone, and they might know who, or they might know where that person is. Well, you're gonna have a tough time. They're not easy to convince to talk. Also, you won't be able to lay a hand on them. We have certain rules for this place, and uh, all prisoners are under certain protections, mostly because these guys could potentially be swayed to come to our side. So we don't allow any uh, bad cop action, as you may, uh, might phrase it as. Have they been checked thoroughly? Oh yeah, they got completely strip searched, as is tradition. That's not what I meant. Uh, then what did you mean, then? They're a house of poisoners. True. But we are currently still investigating the warehouse thoroughly. It's a quite a big facility, as you can understand. They themselves, however, are completely clean of anything. So... The point I'm trying to get across is they're, they're poisoners, they're higher-ups... Have their teeth been checked? Yes, yes, they've been thoroughly checked. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, also, they're not really the kind to off themselves. <laughs> they got families. As he walks into Friend Thrust HQ, he'll raise a hand to Sabrina. Just kind of like one of those kind of lazy hand waves in the air. As he walks by, and she kind of like rolls her eyes. Alrighty. I did ask her out once. Her girlfriend has a very powerful right hook, let me tell you that. Alrighty. <laughs> and we are going down here. Good, good information to keep in mind for Cullen <laughs> Alright, let me take you down to the basement. Did he? Boop. All the way down to the bottom floor. Yeah, well, fuck. Hang on, let me find you. Uh, I can maybe uh, over there if you want. There we go. I, I, I got you. I got you. I got it. Uh, he leads you down towards the, the basement, which is almost devoid of life entirely. And then he'll start to curve towards these massive double doors. Under normal circumstances, um, they would normally repulse people from going anywhere near them. However, f uh, your fan who seems to have absolutely no issues approaching the door. And after uh, knocking on it a couple of times, your own mark on your hand seems to release whatever is kind of pushing you back away from them. Allowing you to get a bit closer to the door. Interesting. So magic, magic repelling door. Okay. Normally, only cans and fens are, are allowed down here. This is where the, the big meeting room is. But there is, we do make exceptions from time to time. So you have a temporary allowance in, just to, to get you down into the prison. Thank you. Alright, let's get you onto the new map now. Oh, actually I should probably have you download this. I don't think I had, had you download it. Uh, let me double check. Probably, Probably not. Probably not. No, I forgot to have people do it last time as well, don't worry. Uh, let me make sure it's actually on the drive and then I'll get the link for you. 
uh, grip maps. Uh, I see a front thrust. Are you curious what's it? Let me get the full name out. Ah, yes, it is there. Alrighty. Uh, let me get the share link for this. Do -do -do -do. Copy link. Discord. Fast. Paste. Alrighty, so in there it should be the bottom one, which is the Front Thrust HQ basement map. <laughs> uh, download anyway. Okay, now remind me what to yep. do with it. So if you disconnect from the server. Um, once you're fully disconnected out, go up to map, import map. Okay. Uh, and then... Oh, I should probably actually move this somewhere. Uh, it doesn't matter because you can delete the file after you've imported it. Uh, it's, it's just so it makes it easier to find. Uh, okay, yeah. In the meantime, I'll get you moved over. When you do import it, you'll get a pop-up warning asking about fog. Um, it doesn't matter if you click yes or no because we don't use fog. So. Gotcha. All right. So. Okay. That just. I think that just opened it for me. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that, so it, is it should open it, and then that that's it. No cache, so you can now reconnect to the server. And then once you reconnect, I will move you across. A second to get in. Yes, Lonnie. You should be back in waiting room. Yes. Alrighty, let me merge you over. Yep, we're good. Awesome. Uh, the double doors open. Uh, the magic, the the rune magic that was glowing upon the surface dissipating as it parted. A large marble staircase descends down into the darkness with only torchlights beaming every every so often, to, enough to light the way. As you approach down, you're not entirely sure how long you've descended, it's not easy to keep track of how deep this floor actually is, but as you descend down it begins to lighten up and open up once more and you find yourself in a large hallway, uh, intensely decorated with a bounties that the family has gathered over the years, several statues of the of the current High Lady and High Lord on, on either side of the staircase. There's another set of double doors before you, but they seem sealed, sh sealed tight. Okay, and I. Do I only see the double doors, or do I see what I can only imagine are other doors uh, you can down, see, down you the You can hallway? see smaller doors on either side, yes. Okay, so I, I do see the mm. doors. Okay. So welcome to Front Thrust HQ Basement. Congratulations, you're one of the few non-fens and cons who have actually made it down this way. The meeting room for the cons and fens is directly ahead, but those doors won't open. If you're very curious, we can take a key in through one of the side doors, but only if you're curious. Damn it, hang on. Shit, <laughs> shit, fuck. There we go. Uh, what's, what's in them? If you can just tell me. Uh, um, an extremely large meeting room. More or less. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> That's what I thought. 
<sighs> I really do wish I'd do something about the smell though. Uh, the air is quite thick. It seems that this area has is pretty close to some still water was trapped within the cavern wall, so it's pretty humid and a bit musky. <laughs> what, the flowers don't do it for you? Ah, uh, I wish they did, but they need to... There would have to be a bloody jungle in here to actually mask that smell. <laughs> Worse than my mother's armpits, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alrighty, let me take a look at all of these layers now. Which one am I looking for? Not that one. Not that one. No, it must be this one. Uh, I want to... Change to... Ride your bicycle? Ah, uh, no, hang on. That is a... <laughs> hang on. Right there. Thankfully, I didn't delete that one. Thanks for talking. Where is it? Oh, that must be this one. Uh, change to hidden. Hey, there we go. Uh, he opens up a finely carved door that looks ancient. It looks like several hundred years old. Um, although it's still very well oiled and parts and parts uh parts easily. The next room is. A very bland room in comparison to the previous one, and the only thing of note is a fountain that seems to have come up from a natural spring down below. Are these supposed to be like paintings, it's or a, is that a changing screen? It's, it's like a changing screen, so you know how in kind of like Asian cultures they have like these decorative screens that just have like all these big paintings on them. Yeah, sure. it's like that. So it's it's a decorative screen that has like a a so long it, mural okay. on it. So, so just decoration. Yeah, gotcha. decoration. Okay. Nothing of note. All right, down these stairs then. Uh, he leads you down the the spiral staircase. Which in case I can now actually do this. Uh, I'll delete this one because I know what this one is. And we're going all the way up here. Nope, Fern Daniel's a bit drunk again. She should stop drinking his own whiskey. Um, as you descend down the stairs, um, the air begins to thicken a little bit. It becomes a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> if upstairs was musky, it was. It's definitely stuffy down here. Uh, let me just do this. Loud. And he takes you down into a a, def, a, a prison, basically. Uh, as you come down into this barren barren room here, there is a a gate, uh, a prison gate um, that is part that has one side open to it. Um, the air is very strange. There's a, a kind of a peculiar kind of like reddish greenish smoke that's very faint to, to the to sight hog hog in the floor you yourself don't feel much different it's just a very peculiar phenomenon do you i i would have to imagine that it is some type of magic negation smoke uh you would be correct yes <laughs> yes master of deduction <laughs> And as he comes into here, there's a couple of people down behind the desk here, and ah uh, yes, finally some guards. Yes, some guards. Uh, and he'll come up up to them, and he'll go, um, oh, aye, aye, we're here to see uh, how our two newest ones are settling in. The guard will kind of look over, look him up and down, and go, Fano, hello, good morning. Uh, we have got you here as expected. All right, all weapons turned over. You you will have to go through the uh, the screening process. Hi, Mally. Yes, yes, rub, rub. Wow, a wild Malleus appears. What is he doing here? Uh, panicking apparently. Apparently, he's running away from Promethea. <laughs> uh, 
So sounds like usual. <laughs> Mally, over onto your cushion, please. Thank you. Uh, so... Uh, f yeah. let's, let's see, how many weapons do I have? I have my spear, and I have my hatchet. Do I have any knives? I don't think you have any knives. No. No. I mean, unless you count the mess kit, which might have, like, a uh, surgical knife. But... They would probably take that, yeah. Uh, so he re relinquishes um, some a sword and some some daggers and such like, and then she'll like gather them all up, write some notes attached to them. Um, she'll take all of your equipment as well, write them up, and then the gentleman here will grab them and then disappear right through this door. Hmm. All right, follow me. That should make my life easier. Let me just give this chat room permission. And then I'll go quickly feed the cat, because he's being very in my face. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Alright, give me two minutes. Alrighty, sorry about that. Look at, um, just to make sure, did they take just my weapons, or did they take everything? Uh, they're basically taking everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything. I... <laughs> There, there is a there is a pouch that I need in in my inventory, uh, because it involves questioning him about that. What does it contain? A purple powder. Why don't I hang on to it? But I will hold it for the duration of your stay, and I will return it when you leave. Jack will turn over, glance over to you and be like, she'll be beside us the entire time, so it's, it's going to be, to be with an eyesight at all times, anyway. Yeah. Did you say something? Sorry, it didn't really come through. I, I, I just said okay. Right. Uh, so she'll take that, but she'll, like, attach it onto, like, her belt, so it's always in sight. And then she'll step out this way. This way, if you would be so kind. Yep. And she will open up these gates here. And then she'll step on through. Vandania will follow with a cheeky grin and he'll like glance over to here and he'll wave. <laughs> uh, it looks like a regular stone wall to you. Um, but if you... We mirrors, gotcha. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any mirrors here though. <laughs> Ma magic, magic wall. <laughs> um, so you, you stand here for a few minutes. That d gate closes behind you. This one begins to click open after a little bit, and then it begins to open after a couple of moments. And then I need to start uncovering a lot of goddamn bloody ah, uh, not these ones. That must be. Not that one. That'll be this one. And then there's another one. Uh, as you step through this one, uh, you do begin to feel your muscles weaken a little bit. As if something's kind of like capping your, your strength. Well, it's a good thing I use dexterity. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wouldn't save you for long. Uh, shut <laughs> opens. <laughs> and then they head on back through. So, can when I'm looking at the Jack and the other guard, do they seem affected? Uh, affected by... He is... She's absolutely fine. She has no... She doesn't look all that bothered at all. He, on the other hand, is looking a little bit paler in the, in the skin a little bit. He's kind of like exhaling a little bit more. <laughs> Than usual. Okay, so it's either she has something blocking the effect, or she has some sort of gained immunity to it. So. Yes. Hello, Mally. You're back again. Uh, this is gonna be this one. So let's take that. Do -do -do. 
Uh, as you look, come down this hallway, uh, there are a couple of windows that look through into this room, which is that one. So you can see into into here. Is there actually anyone in here? There's no one in here apart from like one lone guard on break. <laughs> Uh, Mally, onto your cushion. Ah, the, the same guy. Yes. Unfortunately, I only have like two tokens for everyone, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's fine. He's, he's just teleports. It's just his clones, his shadow clones. Kage <laughs> <laughs> Bushi no Jutsu. Exactly. Yes. Uh, uh, you begin to approach quite an impressive set of gates that are <laughs> at least double the thickness of everything else and double the length. Um. <laughs> You you always have to wonder why exactly is there literally this many like gateways for a prison? Uh, um, I live in America. True, true, <laughs> true. You, 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 your country specializes in prisons a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Just a, a smidge. Bit. Safety precautions. Safety precautions. I understand. <laughs> uh, closes and then this one opens and now we are in this one the guards lead you into a, a vast room that seems to go on for quite a while in all directions um, the air is uh, a little bit strange like you, you yourself feel a little bit weaker than usual. Um, and it's just, uh, your senses are very slightly dulled, you notice as well. So there's definitely something in the air that gives everybody here a bit of a hard time if they try anything funny. Alright, let me just make sure I've got like all my everyone, all the tokens on here revealed. Especially some that are already revealed on here. Uh, is it... I, I see the actual tokens but i can't interact with them at least the prisoner wise uh yeah they're probably because they're not on the right layer are they yeah that's the issue uh, uh, that's the issue oh uh i need to arrange you to token there we go all right so Lil lily and uh <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just looking at this green dragonborn. Oh yeah. Head or. Oh yeah. No, the name just numbers and oh, letters. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the names haven't been. Oh yeah, they were meant to stay as tokens, weren't they? They're not tokens, but thingies. Um, that's fine. You can enjoy it. You can enjoy the names. Um, but yeah. Yes. Oh, we'll we'll say that's their prison number. Yeah, prison number. Good show. <laughs> uh, your two are down this way. And leads you down the uh, the narrow corridors. Uh, there's uh, arcane runes almost on every wall and on the ceiling as well. There's a couple that seem to like follow you as you walk down them. <laughs> All right, you two, wakey wakey. You've got some uh, some guests here to see you. She'll stand back over here. Uh, as you approach the prison, uh, Lily is on the top bunk while Chris is kind of lounging on the bottom one. And he kind of like looks up, sees you and his eyes narrow. <laughs> and he cautiously edges to the edge of his bunk, but he doesn't bother getting up to his feet. Good morning, Chrissy boy. How are we doing today? Oh, fuck you. What are you doing here, Jack? I'm just escorting someone within my dominion, that's all. Also, kind of nice to see you behind bars after a while. Yeah, yeah, rub it in. Can we get them separated? I'd like to talk to them individually if I can. He narrows his eyes. And the guard... I, I, was, only, I was only saying that to the guard and to yeah. Jack. Oh, we can certainly separate them. Give us, give us a moment. Uh, Lily, my dear, uh, I would like to take you into a separate cell for the time being. His eyes kind of narrow 
and Lily will kind of like ease herself up. She'll smile and she'll go, ah, too much to handle, Emma. I see. And she kind of like eases down onto the ground. And Chris tenses as she walks by. Don't worry. It won't hurt us here. You know where we are. Unfortunately. Uh, let me grab uh, this guy. Do, 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 do. Uh, a small opening will appear in the in the bars rather than they roll off to the side. And she'll kind of like have her hands up in the air. And she kind of heads out. And then Elise, do, do, do. we will take him over here. Nope, oh, he's not got chat room control, that's fine. And she'll go in <laughs> here. Alrighty. Alright. Uh, so, um. So since I'm feeling the same sort of symptoms, what, what does Chris look like? Does he look like he's heavily, like, shaken up by like the same feeling like Jack is, or is he worse, better? He definitely looks a lot weaker than when you saw him down down in the the basement of the the warehouse. Um, but to think that he's not alert would be foolish. You can see that he's ex his eyes are still extremely sharp, even if his his own strength isn't there just now. It wasn't more a question of alertness. It was more of a would he try to do anything if I entered the cell? But probably, was... probably yes. Yeah. Uh, he has been he's been extremely tense ever since Lily left the room. You are right there, friend. Oh, I'm fine. It's very cozy in here. Seems like it. Seems seems very lovely in here. You'll kind of like lean back in the in in the bunk and lean up against the wall a little bit. You haven't told me what you want. I just want to speak. For right now, at least. Well, you seem to be doing that just fine. Figuratively speaking, of course. Uh, let's see. You know... Saw your kids earlier. They seem to be doing nice. Nice, wonderful kids. Really enjoy His them. eyes narrow, and a fury crosses his eyes. He crosses his arms and uh, he's kind of knuckling his, he's kind of bunching his, fi his fists together a little bit. But he doesn't reply. Uh, there's, there's no need for that, no need for that. Maybe help me along a little bit and I'll see what I can't, can't do for them. See if I can't get them a, in a little bit better spot. Uh, he'll kind of glance to the guard and to, to Jack and he goes... Well, evidently, you don't know that I get to see them at least once every two to three days. Yeah, that's once every two to three days. Doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot. He, um, kind of eyes you up a little bit and he goes... As far as I am concerned, Front Thrust have been offering me a lot for my cooperation. What could you offer that they can't? No, I'm not offering any more. It's it's further elaborating what what they've offered. I mean, it's not bad to have friends. He rolls his eyes. All I'm looking for is some information. He snorts. And I and I don't even think, for the most part, it's information that uh that Frank Thoss even wants. It's personal. He'll glance over to you and he goes, "If you know anything about this city, this damnable country, you'll realize everything comes at a price."
What do you want, then? He'll ease himself up to his feet. And once he stands up, you kind of realize that he is definitely suffering from the kind of the weakening effect of the area. As he kind of like slowly walks over to you, trying to hide his, um, how much it's kind of affecting his ability to walk proud, essentially. He'll um, rest his, uh, his thumbs inside of his pockets. And you'll, you'll kind of look up at you and you go, A trade of information is what I offer. Though I doubt you'll have the information I want just now. Never know unless... unless you ask. I suppose it can't hurt to try. Long story short, and I will keep it short. The boss I are holding two of my amic. I want to know where they are. Hmm. Uh, Van Daniel will shimmy up and he'll kind of look at Chris and you go, Is that why you had the two kids? To hide the fact that you had bait over your head? You kind of like glower at him. Hang on, I'm, I'm just... So... So as far, as far as I know, as far as everyone else knows, Chris is... Or at least was a loyal Vasai member, but now I've just learned that the Vasai have taken two of his his family hostage. His amic, so two of his members, kind of what, what Colin and Amic Amic family. Mm, yes. I I I'm just gonna yeah. use that. Okay, work work family, yes. not blood yeah. family. We'll, we'll we'll say that. Okay. What did they do to get taken? Or what did you do? You don't know much history about the friend Thross and the boss, do you? Not necessarily about the boss, but I do know a bit about... The Ukafla. He snorts. Ah, so that's the kind of information you're after, then. But to answer your first question, long story short, up until about three years ago, the Frenthos and Vossai were the closest of allies. And then all of this kicked up. There's a lot in the Vossai who are begrudgingly towing the line. There's a couple, like myself, who were a little bit more vocal about it. And the Vossai wanted examples. Uh, they want uh, so Chris wanted to stay friends, and Vasai, the head of the Vasai, didn't want to be friends. Yes. Is, that, is that is that what we're supposed to get out of that? Okay. <laughs> now I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what where to go with that. Um. Shit. Um. Well, I can't tell you where they are right now, but I can work on it. I can find them if you give me if you give me the information that I want. How about I give you some enough to whet your appetite? No. Then I'll give you nothing. There's no guarantee I... that you can give me that will assure me that you will keep your word. If I sprout everything, you could simply walk away. And that'll be that. You can't guarantee that otherwise. Guard. You have a quill, some ink, parchment? Starts chuckling under his breath. It can be arranged, yes. Get some. If you would. Uh, she'll uh, wave down another guard and he'll um, disappear off. The 
If you think a contract is going to put my mind at ease, I'm afraid you're sorely lacking. Paper means nothing. Action means work means everything. What, would you like me to find them right now? Sorry, can't do right that. Right now? No, that would be far too much to ask for. But if you're expecting me to just sprout everything to you right now without holding something back to ensure that you actually, you know, do put your end of the deal, then I'm afraid I'm not playing ball. I can't go with a teaser, which it seems like what you wanted to give. I need something solid if you want me to track track down these two. Such as? And go to further war with the boss guy. <sighs> solid locations. He will ponder and he'll go, of what exactly? Of the Yucatla children, if you know where they are. Or the Ashen one that was referred to in your journal. Ah, uh, Ashen Fire. How could you forget that bitch? Yes, I know exactly who you're referring to. She definitely toured the warehouse with her uh, dear little brother. Or elder brother, I should say. Hmm. Do you know... Do you know her real name? No. I was only ever given her code name. Okay. Quick out out of out of character mm -hmm. question. So since I since I witnessed all of this with, with my backstory and stuff, do I know exactly what the person who looked like? That I'm looking uh, for? Or was it just a general sort of like vague you, information that I know you about? You don't, you've never seen any of your Catholic children. You've see, certainly seen their forces, but you've never actually dealt with them mm. themselves. Damn it. There we go. Can you describe the two of them for me, please? I can't see why that can't hurt. They are, as you would. Ex Hang on, let me let me get a a pen so I can make sure I have all this written all right. down. Let me know when you're ready. All right, go ahead. Which, which which description would you like first? Damn it. Fucking. We'll go with Ashen Fire first. She is a tall woman, human. Porcelain pale skin. Hair paler than even snow. And eyes of, shall I say, washed pink, shall I say. Eyes are washed pink. Interesting. Okay. Her brother is somewhat similar, a little bit darker skin toned. Uh, eyes are not pink, but they are certainly a uh, very sharp pale blue. Very hard to miss from across a room, shall we say. And he is more, shall I say, blonde. It's, it's, strug I, it's prob pale blonde, I would say. Pale blonde. Um, how much darker is the skin compared to the, the woman? Is it just like, oh, instead of like, 
pure white skin. It's like oh, more pinkish, like slightly tan. It's a little bit more natural skin toned, very very slightly. Though. Okay, so they're okay. still paler so than average. So it's still, I say, still still very pale. Okay. Uh. I'm trying to think. Okay. Do you know where they are? Or where they have been? Do you know where they operate? I know where one is. Not going to tell you that information, though. Location. The lo brother? Or Ashen? Ashen. Okay. Guard, if if you would bring the bring the pouch forward, please. The guard will rum, rummage around in the in there, and then she'll just the pouch. And she'll kind of open it up a little for for the the poison to be there, to be visible. Chris will kind of glance at it before glancing at you. Uh, did anything come through? I saw your speech bubble, but nothing came through. Again, am I am I just fucking yeah, up? Yeah, nothing was coming through on my end. What what is this purple powder? He well kind of lean against the bars and you'll kind of like look at it a little bit and you'll go judging by the color the arid smell the fact that it's a powder mm, probably some kind of poisonous flower it's hard to tell without doing some chemical testing really because your warehouse was full of it so you must know what it is Yes, and you would expect me to know what every single one of those crates were. I have names and labels. If you don't have a label with that particular pouch, I'm not going to know exactly what it is, I'm afraid. It's a poison. And judging from the colour of it, a fairly potent one at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give the give the pouch back to the guard. Um, what was it? Marching had the book. Uh, he of... kept the journal. He has the journal. Yeah, they kind of kept that at base. He had. He he has the identification journal. Okay. Okay. Um, where is that other guard? Ah, uh, he's coming. It's a big. He's he has a lot of gates. <laughs> A lot of gates. Bung. <laughs> He'll pass over a paper and go on and then go back to doing his rounds. I'm a ma Excuse me, turn a phrase. I'm not a man. I'm I'm a dragonborn of my of my word. And to prove that I'm willing to get this in contract. These two witnesses. Tell me what I need to know, and I and I will at least find your your two captive Amex or what you you know what I meant. He will grin and he'll go. As I said, a contract means very little to me. I'm a man of action, and your actions speak louder than any word or piece of paper. A piece of paper can be destroyed. Your actions can't. I'm not going to destroy it. If you want it, I'll give it to Jack or even the guard. They'll keep it for safekeeping. Doesn't matter to me. I'll fulfill the contract. I mean, it doesn't matter who destroys it. 
It's just that's what it is. It's paper. As I said before, I will tell you some information, but all the key information that you seem to be looking for, I will hold until I get something back myself. Chris is notorious for his stubbornness. I would be wary. <laughs> So all, all you want is information of where they are, correct? I just need to know where they are. Fine. Tell me what you're willing to give then. Ask your questions and I'll tell you what I am and, not, and I'm not willing to answer. So he's not willing to tell me where either of, of the siblings are? Uh, yes. He knows where one is, he does not know where the other is, but he definitely knows where one is. But he won't tell me where they are. Yes. A location for a location, as you may imagine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, give, me the, give me the names of the two I'm looking for. Or of the two that I'm supposed to be looking for, for you. You're going to be looking for Graham Lake. Say uh, that again. Gra Graham Lake Leck. Okay. And I'll just take the other name. And and Sophia Arana. Sophia. What do they look like? Graham. He is a Tieflin. Uh, normal red tones, tall, has a bit of an attitude on him, but friendly enough blog apart from that. Sophia is a elf. Um, wood elf. They should still have my Amic marking on them, if that helps. Um, show me your marking. Uh, he'll kind of pull down the scarf around his neck, and it will be the Vossi marking, but he'll have uh, six dots on it. Um, I can post it in marbled bars if you want. Yeah, so that, that's fine, as long as I have a record, I have to keep track yeah. of it. It probably won't be exactly uh. his, because I don't know how many dots are on my base one, but it'll be enough. Uh, I need to go into Assets, Dominion, Vossi. Uh, so this is his mark. Ah, oh, I just have six on it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, when were they taken? They were taken about three months ago. Have you been getting updates on them at any point? But from anyone in particular? I know they are alive. They keep changing the messenger. It's been a different messenger every single time? Yep. And how often did you get updates? If I was lucky, I'd get an update once a week. Once a week, so that's so not that many updates. Okay. Do you have any leads on where they could be, or where to start looking? You're going to be running into a lot of Vossi in your travels, no doubt. You're front thrust at war with us, after all. Hmm. Recommendations? If you're going to any Vossi properties, I suggest you take a look. If you have any hints of potential prison sites that aren't normally known, the, the HQ, for example, they, have an, they also have an, a known prison in the war in somewhere. If it's any other location other than that, that would probably be a good lead. Prison... 
and, and can you give me an exact location, or is it a, or is it a known location? It's known. It's on the same level as the boss IHQ, but it's just like around the corner from it. It's a bit separate from the HQ. They also have a prison cell much like this one under their HQ for their more uh, VIP prisoners, shall we say. Hmm. Can you give me any names of other Vasai that are friendly towards the Frenthos? Such as you were? Are? Sympathetic voices? Let's see, who can I think of? I can give you a list, if you give me that quill and paper. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the quill and paper, just... Just let me know and I'll write it down. Alright, uh, I'll start typing that bunch of names then. Um... Didn't actually format very well. If you want me to put them on a new lane, I can. I I understand. Rom's uh, us. I'll, I'll say Oscar, yeah. uh, is a human con or is. Hey. Plies is a high elf. I is that so, is that he's a, he's a member of Oscar of an Amic, but not but not what? that particular Amic. Okay. It's just they're kind of like, quote unquote, positions within. It's not their their ranks. Uh, I can get the thing up and I can get their actual rank ranks. Uh, Warbold. Design. DF. Minion. And I'm looking for this one. So, Ramps is an invoker. Or evoker, I should say. That's rank 4. Um, Oris is a Cable, that's rank 3. Um, Mika is a Marshal, that's a rank 6. Um, Pramia is a Ravager, that's rank 2. And Kel is a Warder, rank 5. Um, it's the higher you go, the higher your rank? Yes, so the higher your number, the higher rank you are. So for example, you are rank 1 just now. Whereas your fan Ool is a warder, so he's rank five. Okay, so it was Rance was five, you said? Uh he was a Volker. Four. Oras four. And then Oras was three. Uh like uh And you said Micah rank was six. six? He's a marshal. Sorry. So he's the highest rank. Uh, Chris himself is a rank three, because he's a cable. Primeo, you said was Rank two. two. Yep, Ravager. Ravager. And then Kel was rank five. Vera. Okay, so that's a list of sympathetic voices that I can try and play off later. Get other information, shit like that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So. Okay. Alright. Getting back to more of the information that I wanted in particular. Um, how many times have you met the, the siblings? I've met Ashen twice. And I met her brother. I've seen him at least five times, but I've only spoken to him once. Any particular reason of why they were around? They wanted to tour the warehouse, check the stock that was coming in. They were eager for 
some particular deliveries that hadn't arrived at that point. So did they own the warehouse or you? The warehouse was technically under my control, but they own it. Interesting. That proves goes through another avenue that I can I can maybe go around. Ooh, interesting. Um, so in this world, is there a, like, an office of records of who would own, like, plots of land or housing uh, or anything like that? There is a registry within the inner sanctum, yes. Um, depending on who it is, however, some will actually just have, like, a dominion name associated with them. Um. But yes, there is there is a um, a record keeping ab ability within the. Oh, are you dreaming, honey? Well, that that is that is that is still helpful. Okay, so there's that. Hmm. All right. I think that's pretty much it for him. I can't. I can't really think of anything else right now of what I would want to ask him, um, because he's. Is there any other information that you were just willing to give me as of right now? No. Okay. Well. Off. Off to talk to the lady then. Good luck. And he'll ease himself back down on the bunk. Uh, Lily is kind of slowly kind of pacing around, kind of like keeping her legs warm. Um, she herself looks mildly distracted as if she's like trying to reach for something that isn't there anymore with her senses. You're all right there, girl. She'll glance over and she'll go, I just missed a touch of magic, homeboy. How you doing? She'll kind of walk up to the bars and put her hands on her hips. Uh, don't know the touch of magic myself. I have my own abilities. I'm certain you do, honey. So, how may I be of service? I presume that's why you're here. Just a few questions. I might have a few answers. Have you ever met Ash and Fire? Oh, now there's a bitch with a heart of ice. Certainly, I've met her a couple of times. Did you speak about anything in particular, or was it just, or was it just a uh, you were there in the same room? Mostly, they were speaking with Chris. I was simply following behind and making sure nobody was trying to do anything smart. You know, extra security for the VIP. What were they speaking about? Things. Just smile. Oh, I love things. Oh, I'm certain you do. But what do I get out of it? Everyone wants something. Naturally. Well, I know that at least they were they were talking about the stock in the warehouse. They were waiting for a particular shipment. I know that much. Just smile. Do you know what that shipment was? I may. What do you want? Oh, what do I want? Well, there's a, quite a few things a lady could want. I suppose the important I no doubt Chris has already played this card with our missing Amic members. For what, for what he is, he seems to be a family man of some sort. We all are, honey. So, so what do you want, if... If you're not going to bring up. 
the uh well the missing Anik members. Well, seeing as Chris has probably already brought it up, I suppose I could ask you to keep a track on whether or not the the Vossi have done anything to the Amix family members. Some of them were married, some of them had kids, you know. Gotta make sure that when we get them out, because I assure you, honey, we will get them out. We need to make sure that their family is okay. The Vossi are known for their underhanded and dirty tricks from time to time. You know, you really shouldn't talk so poorly about yourself like that. <laughs> Honey, you have no idea what I'm capable of. <laughs> well, I can imagine you're capable of quite a few things. Sure, smile. Um, I'll ask Jack. Do y'all have files on this, on, on, um, Chris's Amic members' families? We have some. We still have some information from when we, sh from the, um, alliance we used to have. It won't be too difficult to also get the information out of Chris and Lily themselves, so that should be relatively easy enough. Okay. Alright. I'll check on their families, if that's what you want. Good, good. That will ease some, some minds, at least. Alright. Now, will you answer my questions? I might. It depends. Clearly you don't have the information I want to hand, so you know. You know how tra information trading goes. I give you the little things, and when it's time for the big things, you give me what I want. Well then, then, give me the little things. So far you haven't really given me anything. Why don't you ask your questions and I'll know if they're little or not. <sighs> She's not going to tell me where they are. She's not going to tell me anything about the warehouse or the delivery. Does Ashen Fire have anyone else with her than just her brother? She has her two guards. They certainly gave me the creeps, I'll tell you that much. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> they have an aura around them, shall I say. You know, when you look at somebody, you just get this feeling that there's something is off with them. Both of them gave that off so strongly, nobody wanted to be anywhere near them. Even Chris was reluctant to get that close to Ashen and her brother. Alright. So, just just thinking about it out, out outside, mm -hmm. of, or in character, but outside questions, since... Do white followers give off that kind of thing? Or is this just, like, something else entirely? Um, some white followers have a slight tinge that is a little bit off, but that's mostly because they're fanatics. And so th this is something else entirely. There, like something, something has entirely. been done to these guys. Okay. Can you, can you describe these guards, or were they, like, Shadow. Cloaked. They were definitely cloaked. And thank god I don't want to see what was under those things. You've made the Nazgul. Great. <laughs> I'll tell you this much. They're fucking huge, whoever they are. Huge how? Like, all, like much taller than me? Or as huge as in built like muscles yes we're dealing with cave trolls <laughs> uh so can you give me an estimate on how big they at were? least 10 feet at least 10 feet so they are at least in the large category if not what is it giant category okay Interesting. 
there was nothing else about them other than just this weird ore. They were massive and they were cloaked. Nothing else you can tell me about they them? They never said a word. They kept, they stayed right by their mistress's side and didn't even look either way, but you always felt like they knew exactly where you were. Did you see any weapons on None. them? None. As in you couldn't see them? Or they didn't have it. They had none on them that I could see, no. Interesting. Interesting. No... No weapons. Okay. Hmm. He gave me a lot. She hasn't given me much, or whatever she's going to give me is going to basically be the same thing until I come back with information about the family. So that will be another time. Uh, she's not going to tell me anything. Well. Do you know if Ash and Fire, was there a third family member? I only ever saw the two of them. If there was a third, they never came anywhere near me. They were never spoken about? No. Okay. I think I basically have at least as much as I'm going to get from them today. Unless... Yeah, she probably... Do you know of any other sympathetic Vossi that are not on this list? And then I'll show her the list that um, Chris gave me. Ah, okay, you're going down that avenue. I might be able to give you a couple of new names. She'll kind of scan the list and she'll go, Now bear in mind, these guys will be hostile unless you can convince them otherwise. So just be wary when you go to question them, if you, if you ever run into them. Uh, let's go with... So that will be one. Get another one. What does that mean, shifter wolf? So a shifter is someone who could turn into like a were a werewolf or a were tiger or something like that. So Okay, so so she she's a werewolf. Gotcha. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was if it was gonna be that or. Did you play Witcher Three? Uh, I've seen a bit of Witcher Three. Okay, because I'm tr I'm trying to remember doppelganger. Oh, I s yeah. And this is a four. Now this third one I'm about to give you, I would, I would beg of you to do extreme caution if you were to ever see them. They are, how shall I say, in a bit of an awkward situation. Uh, let me just go into my thing here. And it's interesting. 
Interesting. I would have to assume that that is the head of the the head of the Vasai's son. Uh, it's his youngest son, yes. Apparently, up until the, all of this kicked off, was an extremely close friend to the youngest of the Frenthos. And that's Promethea? Uh, correct. Hmm. So there's all there's all of that. Do you have Damn it. There we go. Uh do you have any further leads on where your two missing Amic members could be other than the prison and the warrants? She'll frown as she I thinks. And she'll go I suppose if you wanted a place to search there it is oh the Roderoth are quite good at keeping information. I would suggest hitting one of their ware uh, smaller warehouses. You'll be amazed at what you can find in there. Roderoth? Roderoth, yes. That is another one of the high families. Um, You have a couple of missions against them, actually. Uh, your, your next one after Magical Mayhem is actually about getting information from them. Um, Who spilt the deets. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So why why were these two taken? Exactly. Daggers to hang over our heads. And why is that? Out of the rest, out of our entire amic, they are a couple of our weaker members. Chris is incredibly capable, as you probably have assessed, and I have my unique talents. They would rather have us on the field and take the ones who probably weren't so useful to them in the field and force us to toe the line. So you're against this war, then? We never wanted it to begin with. We don't even know why it happened. It's just all of a sudden we got a memo one day that says, Frenthros are now enemies. Treat them as such. If something happened in the background, we do not know it. That one of the Vossi uh, family members is also against this seems to indicate there's something strange going on. Unfortunately, our ranks aren't quite high enough to get into the inner workings of that. So you didn't know that the Yucatla family is back and working with the Vasa? Um, I'm not entirely sure who Yucatla is, in all honesty. Old, old foes of the Frenthos. I have a very, very good reason to believe that they are behind all of this, but I could be wrong. Well, if they're against the Frenthos and they're using the Vossi, that would certainly clear up that, but so naturally we'll need to find actual proof of that. I have my reasons to believe that Ashen Fire is one of them. So, so I would have I would have to assume that you're that Chris has has at least some information that would prove that, but he won't give it to me. Naturally. He'll probably have some things that he'll want to get from you first. Yeah, yeah, we're already at that. All right, uh, I think we're, I think we're pretty, I think we're pretty good. I think that's all I'm really going to get. I can't think of anything else. Alrighty. Right now, um, 
Is Promethea or her father here? Uh, Promethea is currently getting ready for a date, just now, so she is unavailable. Uh, her father is, I'm pretty sure he is at the Shimmering Towers just now for a high, high family meeting. Was there, was there anyone else high ranking around that I could speak to and sort of uh, ask questions to and get, give information to? You have, um, Prometheus Amic are hanging around still. So Shauna and, um, Sebastian and whatnot. Okay, um, yeah, let's, let's go find them. Are we all done here? Well, hang on. Let me... I, m I might have one more question. Mm -hmm. Do you know how Promethea became injured? She's injured? Very good. Thank you for your time. She has this curious look in her face. She kind of like eyes everyone here. These two kind of frown at you. Oh no, they can't hear that, can they? <laughs> but no. they kind of frown at her. <laughs> kind of like, who? Hey, what's she on about? Who's she on about? <laughs> okay. Alright. Right. We done here? Jack. Yep. Jack, guard, we're done here. Alrighty. Alright, we'll have you put back into your cell so Chris doesn't start trying to break the bloody place down again. He's remarkably strong to be able to resist some of the effects when he gets a bit angry, doesn't he? Unfortunately. Whatever happened to Chris's axe? Uh, it was lost in the warehouse. He threw, he, Damn. He, dropped, okay. he threw it away in the warehouse and that was the only way he was going to get on that elevator to escape the fire. Gotcha, yeah, I wasn't around yeah. for that, but okay, gotcha. So probably the front thrusts probably have it at this point, at some if if they found it. Alrighty. Uh So you wanna just zoom us back on up or transition maps, however you wanted uh, to do sure. it. Sure, let me just pop her back in here. Go back. Oh, I don't have control over you, you have to go back down here. And Right, so let's, uh, you want to go back upstairs, I presume? Yes. Alrighty. Our token should still be there, let me double check. And they are, well, wonderful. Uh, so Jack will escort you back out the prison and you'll get all your items back, including the little pouch of poison. Yay. What is, what is... What is this over here? What is this? Is this just an armory? Um, yeah, so down here, uh, they have like a kind of an armory shop. Um, it has the same stock as the blacksmith up on the surface just now, though. Um, you can also have stuff like commissioned if necessary. All right. Do you think maybe I could... How much would a commission cost if I'm just gonna like say get a like plus one or plus two spear? Uh, at this current moment in time, uh, plus ones and pl like plus ones and other magical items like that aren't available because there's an iron crisis on just now. There is an iron crisis, of yes. course. Of course. Okay. Well then, <clears throat> that's another. That is another shop that is good to know that I can do. I so can, I can get commissions they have... done. Ar armor, weapons. Uh, I'm pretty sure upstairs there's also tailor shops for like, that's your leather work and stuff. Uh, and they have um, a couple of other little things. There's a potion shop up there. What not? On the, sec on the second floor. Yeah, it's the, ar the armor stuff, the tailors. I mean, I I would have to assume that it's all the, the, the same stuff. Yes. Or, I mean, you, you you might be that you know at some point since since we have access to this it might it might be yeah. might have other stuff but it's the the commission stuff is is the important bit so that mm -hmm. 
I can get better. Yeah, so <laughs> get a better if, you, spear. if you ever brought in like resources, like say for example you brought in dragon bones, well they could probably turn that into something. Let's see, what do I have? I still have the broken, broken longsword. Uh, no, no resources in particular. So, okay. Um, I'll tell Jack. Um, can you take me to Prometheus Amic, please? Ah, oh, you want to go talk with them? Uh, sure. I'll take you up to the office area, and I'll have, I'll try and grab one of them. Anyone in particular? Can I get like five to ten minutes? So I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, you there? Uh huh. God, the chills and the shakes have started to set oh, in. Dear. <laughs> yeah, just oh, I, I, I can't stop shaking. Yeah. Oh fuck. Make sure you get a blankie <laughs> or a duvet or something. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if you can hear it in my voice, but yeah, I'm shaking that yeah, fucking much. Yeah, I, can, I can hear it. Are you okay, honey? <laughs> it, it it wasn't like this until I literally got up, and then it it hit all at yeah, once. Yeah. I I literally could not stop shaking in the toilet. <laughs> uh, if you ever need to stop, just let me know. Uh, we will keep going for now, at least. Alrighty, if you ever need to stop, just let me know. Okay. Alright. Uh, so Van Daniel has uh, headed off to go fetch some people, and he's instructed you to go to the top floor, which is just the next one over. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's hitting me hard now. Okay, well, all right, all right, we're headed upstairs. Right, okay, so just just over here. <laughs> I'm back okay. to the the office okay. where you were at. Okay. Um, is that if you ever kind of look as as you you come in, and then he'll be like, "Uh, you have an appointment with one of the one of the highs." Hang on, let me get my other hand. <laughs> no, I don't have an appointment. I'm just trying to speak with Prometheus Amic. Oh, okay. Uh, just just grab a seat, and I'm sure one of them will be along shortly. <laughs> Rasfarn, if you can. Uh, we'll see who he brings. <laughs> uh, a little while later, about 10, 15 minutes later, the, the door opens and... Oh. Yes. Yes, good on. <laughs> oh, hang on, some of these don't have chat room permission. <clears throat> Let me fix that. Otherwise, I'm literally hard to be looking over at the other laptop. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, so I didn't actually get my coffee cookies. She got me caramel ones instead. I'm sure she'll make up for it later. They probably ran out. You know how popular they are. Uh, Rasfarn will spot you and he'll kind of like nod his head and then he'll say uh, hello in Draconic. I'll I'll respond the greeting. I'm I'm gonna stop using the one hand for oh, speech it's fine. bubbles. I, if you're if you're speaking, I'm gonna assume you're in character unless you otherwise state. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, so you want to to speak to us about something? Then <laughs> uh, Sebastian will kind of step up and he'll just grab a seat, <laughs> pull out some cookies. <laughs> yes, I had a a chat with your two newest prisoners, Chris and Lily, um, and they revealed some information that y'all might be key to have. And to what would that be? Uh, they, they gave me a list of names that are sympathizers to, to Frenthos, um, inside the Voss High. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else? I'm trying to the list of names. Yeah, it was basically that list of names, 
and then I was um I was trying to see if y'all if you had access to Chris's Amic files so that I if I could get a quick glance at them and look over them. Hmm. I can certainly see what we can dig up. Uh, he will kind of lean his, he's kind of got a, a, a cane with him and he'll like just lean against him as he brings out a, a book that's attached to his hip. Um, he'll begin writing and eyes kind of like pop up, pop it up here in the pages every now and then. Did you learn anything interesting oh. from him by the way? Well, I got inform—I got information about two two people that are working with the Vasai, <clears throat> and I was, and I need to know if the description that they gave me matches the Ukatha children. His eyes narrow. All right, hit they me. Uh, Sebastian will probably be the best one to ask. He actually no, he, he was the last one to see them. Is Sebastian still looking through his book? He, he's or... kind of, he kind of flicks his eyes up, but there's text rolling on, <clears throat> on the screen as it's doing a search. Uh, they gave me descriptions of of two people, one with a codename Ash and Fire. They gave me they didn't give me a, a codename for the other one. Ash and Fire owned the warehouse that Chris and his Amic were in. Um, was a tall human female with porcelain skin, pale white hair, almost the color of snow, and washed pink eyes. And the other one, a male, was still very pale skin, but slightly darker than the female, sharp pale blue eyes, and a blonde to pale blonde hair. That would certainly match. The Yucathlas had a strong trace of albinism in their, in their bloodline. So then, we know we know these two have been have had dealings with the Ukathla. Um I've made a I've made a deal with them to to find to to find two of their Amic members that were taken by the Vasai um, because they have sympathies towards towards the Frenthos, and they want me to at least find the they want me to find the location of them. That's all they want. Um, yes. And then check on and then check on the the status of their of the of their family members. Well, that definitely sounds like Chris and his Amic. They are very family oriented, and from what we can tell from other sympathizers from the Vossa who have come over to us either for shelter or to help shelter their families, the Vossa have been very hard on them to make sure that they toe the line. So evidently, something drastic has happened. Uh. He will kind of look down for a moment, and you'll go... <laughs> yes, okay, I have some information here on their amic. So, Chris is obviously the Khan, as you already know. Lily is their, their wizard. Uh, Graham, from what I can see here, he was a ranger. He specialises in the ranger field. Uh, he's, one of, he's one of the ones that was mm -hmm. taken hostage. Uh, Sophia, or Sophia, I should say. The other one. Uh, she, uh, he kind of flicks back through the book again. Uh, she is a, a fighter who also did a little bit of sorcery, from what I can tell from here. They also have a... F Do you have any right? Yeah, go they ahead. They also have a fifth member, um, who Chris has not mentioned, so I can only presume they've managed to escape the boss size grip and our, our, escape our notice. Uh, well that makes sense, seeing as he is a he specialises in the rogue arts. And then the sixth. The sixth will be their fen. Uh, we don't have very much information on them. They are a civilian, from what we can tell. I think it's actually Chris's wife. Interesting. Um, do we have any information on Graham and Sophia's family? Uh, of their families, no. Uh, we tend not to pry into that when we do when we did cross dominion work in the past. Any information we have on the family was given to us by the, the 
um, Chris and his lot by themselves, but that's not really something we keep a, a, a record of, as you can imagine. Can we get someone on that to check up on check up on their families? That is one of one of their demands or requests, I should say, um, in order for them to give up more information. We can certainly send people to go on it. I can ask Shanna if she can get started on it at the very least. She's got nothing to do for the little for the next little while. Well, he kind of looks at his wrist and looks up to a, a clock on the wall and goes, "Maybe not tonight. She's shadowing tonight, but uh, definitely she'll start tomorrow." Thank you. I I wouldn't expect any more. Or right, hang on, I need to find the correct phrasing for that. Um, yeah, just thank you. Um, and then they asked me, I, I, yeah, I, I said this, to find where they're located. Um, do we have any information other than the prison on where the Vasai like to keep their prisoners? The Vasai, like us, have many secret prisons lo located in and around. There is the very real potential they might not even be in the city itself, but it's hard to tell. Secret prisons, being what they are, tend not to be found very easily. Um, another lead that they gave me on that one is the R the Rodearth family. Ah, the Rodearth, of course, yes. They they might have information on them. The Rodearth do have a oh, warehouse yeah. on the outskirts of the city that is a host of information. Getting in is not easy. Security is extremely tight, as you can imagine. And, yes, we do have a couple of missions that might be going into that area relatively soon. I think you might have a, a choice to go in there if you feel prepared for it. I'm... I'm not sure. Uh, who spelt uh, the deets part one? Well, I, I know, but this is like in oh, character. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't looked over our, our mission brief. Usually for the most part, it's Malleus who will look over that and then give us the selections, give us the rundown. He is the con. Um, and otherwise, I think I think that's basically it. Uh, so, so yes, they. So I've told them that. Yes, the Kato family are back, as far as we're aware, based on the information that we have. At least the two of them. We have no idea. I have no idea about the third. So, um, if if we can at least find the those two missing Amex, they have said that they will give me all the information that they have on the Yukatla siblings. Yes. And from what. And from what I know, that is a very keen topic on Promethea and her father. Uh, Rasvaram will narrow his eyes and you'll go, We're trying to keep Promethea away from the Yucathlas as much as we can. Why they ever come back after so long, we're not entirely sure. Whether to regain lost glory or whatever, it, it matters not. But yes, I'm certain, certain the High Lord will take a look into it. Thank you both. Yes, and no doubt if we get the information about where his amic is being held, we can use that to sway Chris onto our side. We'd very much appreciate a mission going out to get them out. And if you you notice on that on that list, um, did I give did I give them the uh, list? I'm not sure you showed it to them, but you you, you did pull okay. it out. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I'll give I'll give them the list of names then. And if you. If you notice on that list, there is a very particular name on that list that is that y'all y'all might take interest in. Rasvarn will sigh when he looks at it. Ah, <sighs> Byron, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, and yet you do nothing. Yes, yeah, so we're not surprised to see his name on there. He's very torn between helping his family. And doing the right thing. He has a very strong moral compass, but he does have, like most of us, I have very strong loyalty to his family. Now, whether or not that's because the boss I are threatening him, or whether or not he just generally has cares very deeply for his family, we do not know. 
he and Promethea have been tense ever since this broke out, as you can imagine. From what they, from what Lily told me, it seemed like Promethea and Byron were very close friends, and I've noticed that she has recently be, been injured. He will narrow his eyes. Perha perhaps that is, perhaps Byron did something, or they are in fact using Promethea as leverage to keep Byron in line. It's difficult to say at this point. That is, that injury you mentioned has certainly been a very sore point of late and is one of the reasons why Promethea and Byron have been having a severe spat whenever they meet. While Byron is desperately trying to assure her that he is trying to help, he has yet to actually do anything of anything substantial. Promethea at this moment in time just wants nothing to do with him at this time until he's willing to actually lift a finger. Uh, damn it, my blankie! <laughs> no, not your blankie! <laughs> not your blankie! My, my, my blankie! I'm so oh, cold! No. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I don't think I have anything really else to pass on. Um, so it's so it's basically just um, any information that y'all gather on that. Um, if you want to cut me out of it, I would prefer if you didn't. We will transfer the information that is relevant to you over to you when we can. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Okay. I, I, I think I think that's basically it for me. Alrighty. Well, you have a good day, and we will keep in touch. I'm not entirely sure how long it will be, but we'll let you know of any updates. Thank you. I'll try. It is very rare for a silver dragonborn to get cold. <laughs> yes, we can imagine as such. Why don't you get yourself home? <laughs> have a nice hot bath or something. Ah, oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> uh, do you want to call it there? Because you sound like you're suffering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's sure. Okay, we'll call it there. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, kidok. So, <laughs> uh, quick rundown of what has happened so far. So, um, naturally, uh, you had to summon Promethea to get the other two in. Yeah, uh, Kidok yeah. and Everly. And uh, that went yep. well. Uh, Question fantastic. Mark. <laughs> Question Absolutely mark. fantastic. <laughs> um, I showed how much, how much of a bottom Malleus is. <laughs> Bless him. He tries. Uh, There's nothing wrong with being a bottom. There is nothing wrong with being a bottom. It's absolutely but like, fine. You know, <laughs> it's... You know it's, uh, <laughs> he is very much, he is very much, uh, uh, submissive to the, uh, to the foot foot nine. <laughs> foot foot eight. She's not four foot eight, she's, she's five three. Oh, okay. Well. You're, you're six two, she's five three, so... Uh, you know the meme. It was six, <laughs> uh, you know f the meme five foot nine and then six foot. Yes. Uh, th that meme. Yeah, that, that's what I'm. That's that's what I'm dealing with right now. Oh bless. That's what I imagine. That's what I imagine. <laughs> but so um. I'm yeah. abnormally abnormally tall for a tiefling and pretty pretty average for for her, I guess. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think a slightly below average actually. Oh, well, I think I'm, average is like I'm, five five or five four. Five or nine, five nine. I think is the is the absolute maximum for for I tieflings. It, I think it was. I think it's six I think one. It was, it? I think you were literally six... one inch taller, which is why I let away oh, with well. it. 
Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> so I think you're good on that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that happened. Uh, the team has left relatively early in the morning to get on to mission time. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, by the way, in character and out of character, I have no idea what's going on with that with that mission. Yep. Because because I I, the video I literally is not up yet. Had... well, it's literally just been uploaded. So not only has the video not just been uploaded, like I couldn't watch during the uh, yeah <laughs> during the session. <laughs> so like I have I have zero context as to what is happening in that session. So... Hilarity is what I'm going to leave it as. Okay. The fairies are still so, stuck in uh, a tree, as far as I remember. Of the of the of the other members, uh, the only one who didn't go was was. Uh, well, the only two that didn't go besides myself, besides myself, the only other person who didn't go was was Drac, right? Yeah. So Drac was probably working, and he did join into voice, but he did say hi. But I, I think I, I think I acknowledged him, but he didn't say anything else, and we got very distracted by the rest of the session. So I think he just decided mm -hmm. to not interrupt. Exactly. So what we've done is I did his solo yesterday. Mm -hmm. So his solo is going to run concurrent to their session, to the, the main okay. group session. Okay, well, so cool. The group left early this morning, uh, Jack Van Daniel appeared kind of mid-morning to come take Drac away. Okay. And you have been left <laughs> in the house with Chai and Demetra. To my devices. <laughs> yeah. Um... Basically, on the map, I just had you in the bedroom with Dorsharo and Ramad, kind of like there. <laughs> oh, their uh, game plan. Yeah. All right, huddle up, huddle up, and <laughs> break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Don't fuck break. up. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, I've got, so many right. Superman. I've got so many Batman transitions to put in as well. Oh, -na 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 -na. <laughs> I had to do like four of them in the last last video. <laughs> why? Why are there some? Oh, 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 the Batman transitions for the for the, the original uh, for for the one before this. No, for the one that I just posted today. Oh God. <laughs> there, there's oh, like no. uh, there's definitely at least three. <laughs> Amazing, love Batman transitions. <laughs> so much fun. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly paste these guys over just in case uh, I am um, out of mine. That's this one here. Uh, just in case. Uh, paste. Just in case you need any any moral support before you head out. Wait, wait, wait. Where? Where did uh, you do it? They're just slightly down below. Yeah, I just brought in Chai and Sumitra. Oh. So they're just gonna okay. kind of chill there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I thought you posted something in in uh, in in D and D or something like that. In, no, no. In our, in our Discord. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay well. Uh, so let's wing it, because <laughs> nothing's been it. planned. Uh, yep. Uh, the rules are made up and the points don't matter, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Um. All right. So Malleus. So. So the start off is Malleus is in his is in his bed upstairs talking to Ramad and um and Bashar, all right? Yeah. Uh do you want your formal wear or are you going as is? Before I forget. Um probably well, that depends on what Ramad tells me. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> so so the question so I'm gonna I'm gonna pose the question. Okay. Alright, Ramad, I uh we um I sent you off last night. What's oh, what's oh, what's the uh, what's the scouting? How how do we? Uh, what's a good place for 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 me to take her? Um, Ramad kind of slips his glasses down as a head onto his eyes. He just brings out this um this notebook that he seems to always carry with him. He's kind of flicking through the pages and he goes, "Okay, so this is getting huge variety. I'm honestly surprised. Uh, apparently, things have moved on since I was last here. Anyway, so." There's two locations. Now, when I say locations in this case, I mean that there's two generalized locations, depending on where you're going to go. So, there's places on the surface, and then there's places underground. Because everyone in the city is apparently a mole. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Choose between those two, and then I can break it down from there. 
All right. I, I I'd rather not go underground. I don't, I, and I don't think, I don't think. Uh, well, hmm. yeah, I don't want to go underground. There's more chances of uh, there's more chances of me running into people who actually know who actually are know us, know her. <laughs> so so let's let's stick above ground for now. So let's do that. All Let's right, let me just score this way the last one. Okay, all right. So we got that. So if... Right. So I've got four places. I've got from cheapest to more expensive and not breaking the bank because I need to keep my investment going. So the cheapest place... Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. So not of her stature. Uh... I, I, good, uh, don't, uh, good yeah, reviews, what's... but it's a bit. The area is not that great. Okay, all right. I'm not. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> second, second one, second one's okay. Um, but relatively nice area. It's just busy. It's just a busy area. It's the only real downside I can think about. Moderately priced. Probably will set you back. Maybe. Depending on Wayne, if you're planning on that, I'll probably set you back maybe one, two gold if you're lucky. I need, I need to look at my. Alien. Is this my? Is this character updated? Ah, uh, this should be your most updated token, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got your. Well, two holy shit! I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Keep on going. All right. Next one. There's a little bit of a jump in between this one and the other one. Area's a little bit more fancier. It's actually not too far away from when your uh, compatriots are, actually. It's in the same general district, just away from where they are just now. Uh, quite nice. A little bit more pricey. You're probably, you're probably talking five, six gold. Could go up to ten. Um, that's including wine, depending on the wine, actually. Uh, and then... Uh, I mean, it's not bad. I personally don't like the t I personally don't like the decor. I think it's a little bit too. Meh. Is this the one that uh, came from a cr one of the across the sea themes? Yeah, it's all like savannah and shit. It's terrible. I don't know what they're up about. It's all like super super spicy shit as well. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um. And the last place. Uh, last place is. Technically, it's in the outer sanctum, but it's like literally in like an aclove that kind of like borders in between the two, between inner and outer. Uh, so it's a bit more expensive. I'm talking like probably about 10 to 50 gold if you include wine. 10 to 50? 5 zero? Yeah, 5 zero. But that's including wine. Now, the wine can be anywhere between like 3 silver to like 45 gold. Easy. I'm not gonna. I think they also do 200 right. bottles, 200 gold bottles of wine. <laughs> oh, is this is this the joke? Is this the, <laughs> this this is is the, the joke? Is this, the one? this, this is, is the joke. joke? Yes. Okay. Okay. This, this is, the, is joke. the joke. Got it. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I, I truly believe. Okay. Uh, okay. Out of character. I truly believe that Scott. Uh, that Scott is not going to like he 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 will not get enough money for that. <laughs> Well, like ever. the way that it's actually working just now, he won't have enough for it. However, he and Osaka do have their day tentatively booked. And it is before mm. his solo session. So he's going to be going there and trying to wrangle a discount. So he has 200 gold for that bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy on Lord have mercy. Anyway, um, okay. Um, honestly, it and and when you say and, and when you say these prices, uh, these are ten to like ten to like the gold amount is per person or or total. Ramaka looks at the prices and he goes, "Oh, I, I, okay, that's that that is okay." All right. He'll right. look down and you go. If we take the wine off, it'll probably, like, the most expensive place is probably going to be, like, maybe 15 gold each. Although I do question oh, uh, the portion sizes. <laughs> well. It okay. is a fancy restaurant, after all. They do tend to 
have large to, no, plates I'm, I'm and a, small portions. I'm, I'm honestly, uh, honestly, Ramad, honestly, Ramad, I do not want to even get the. Well, okay, wait a minute. Okay, question, DM. Uh huh. Uh, you said you said that the the last place was inside of the outer sanctum. It's in, it's outer sanctum, but it actually is like built into the city wall between the inner and outer sanctum. So technically, it serves both inner and outer, but the address is for the outer sanctum. So. Okay, I don't I don't want to I don't want to like break the bank, <laughs> and I think and I think honestly. I need to. Oh God! I need. I need to. I need to double check some things in in the in the drive. Uh, where would the shops be? Marvel Fire Shops, August thirty first. Okay, that's that's the most up to date one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's do the uh, let's do the let's do the 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 that one that that one uh, the the very last one that you said. Alrighty, that's very worth the fucking investment. Oh, this. I swear to God, if I don't get positive reinvestment from that bitch, I don't. I don't know. That's gonna be worse. Oh, oh, you you shot you. What do you mean? Look, look. I'm trying to make sure that your group doesn't go fucking bankrupt. Seriously, how much cheese does I go eat? Mm. Mm. Apparently, according to my calculations, at least three wheels a day. Mm-hmm. Well, well, she is, uh, she's been through a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's going through my bloody wallet, that's for damn sure. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to. So, so Ramad gives sends me the um, gives me the location. Um. All right, I'm going to sending to uh. I'm gonna sending to to uh to Promethea, mm -hmm. uh, um. Are you ready? Where do you want to meet up? So that's ten words. Yep. Uh, I'll get a quick notebook up. Just to test back. Uh, do -do -do -do. um. No, I'm trying to think about how best to do this. Uh Let 
How many words is this? Four. Okay. So you get a response after a little while, and uh, it goes as followed. Um, Big Brother is sus. Saw me getting ready. We'll meet you at the next Warren station away from Front Thrust HQ. Shanna sneaking me there. All right. Well, um, if that's the case, um, I don't want. I don't want to send another one. I'll, I'll not. I won't send another one. Another response because we got those are limited. So I'm going to res I'm going to make my way to the the station to the station mm -hmm. that she's talking about. Yep. So you head down towards the Warrens. Blessedly, Fen is not on duty today. He seems to have he be yeah. he seems to be having time off just now. So mm -hmm. um, you ask the gentleman running the tram system about it and he's just like oh yeah yeah that station yeah it's um just around the corner it's to get, take traffic away from front of hq and whatnot yeah yeah i can mm. i can get you there so you gets all the the rune stuff on the cart set it off and you you set off down the rails after about 10 so minutes you rumble down into a station the area is a lot more open wide than the Front Toss HQ. It's a massive, massive plaza with water falling from the ceiling and great cascades. Uh, the area is brightly lit with uh, fluorescent um, plants a lot that seem to form little ro roads and rivers, uh, bridges crisscrossing over them. Uh, light on the ceiling is coming from artificial lights and also from bioluminescence. It's, a, it's actually a quite nice looking place. Um, cool. yeah. f further along the tunnel, you can just see the upper, la the sneaking balcony of the upper layer of Frontos HQ before it kind of like disappears around the corner. So it's not too far from Frontos HQ, but it's far enough away. Mm -hmm. um, as you get out of the the car, um, you spot Shana. Um, let me go get her token since I've got it here. Um, you do spot Shanna leaning against uh, the rail and surrounding, separating the platform from the ground. She's got new art because we found art in Mizzle, which is like <gasps> I once. Okay, cool. So she just spot you, oh. spot you getting out. Oh, also before, uh, do you want your fancy gear token or? Yes, you... yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let me go grab that for you. Uh, PCs. Just to make sure, just to make sure that I got this this gold down. Okay. Unlike Colin, yeah. you won't be breaking the bank. I hope. I will be. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm not spending two hundred gold on a fucking wine <laughs> bottle. You asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Uh, probably next week, some point. Yeah, I'm not spending 200 gold on a fucking wine bottle. Maybe, maybe. I think the absolute maximum I'll spend on a fucking on a wine bottle, depending on how it goes, is like maybe 25 <laughs> max. Max, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm thinking. Uh, this is this is this is a uh, marching thinking here, and yeah. not Mally. This is marching thinking, bro, bro. I need gold for like potions and shit. Fuck off. <laughs> Yes, those potions I now need to clearly make trackers for because you keep fucking swallowing them if the last session's anything to go by. Bro. Mm. Bro. I, I have no idea how uh, many potions they drank. <laughs> I think I have I think I have zero left. I, think, I don't really I don't think I have I don't think I have any potions left because because I because because of what happened with Yeah, with Chris kinda the, said the hi, fucking... didn't he? <laughs> because because uh, we we all decided to make the uh, the the squishy warlock a uh, a uh, leader apparently. So. Well, there's no issue with that. It's just that you had very unfortunate placing. <laughs> yeah, because this this motherfucker is a fucking barbarian. <laughs> a custom uh, barbarian. A, f a freaking custom barbarian. Yeah, again, uh. you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like Chris, but we'll see how it goes in the future. Mm. So, Shana kind of glances up as she sees your approach. And mm -hmm. she'll have a, a little smile on her face. And she'll go, 
Um, don't worry, your little bird's here, just hiding. She kind of like you glance towards Friend Thrust HQ. And then, I, and then I ask her, I ask her, are you the chaperone? <laughs> <laughs> she groans and rolls her eyes and says, unfortunately. <laughs> and I go, uh, better you, better you than Rasvarn, I'll tell you that. Oh God, Rasvarn couldn't sneak her out if he tried. If anything, you'd probably hand her to the brother. Yeah, the, the yes, yes, he would. You hear, you hear a quiet. I truly, vo- <laughs> I, tr- I truly believe that. You hear a quiet voice beside uh, Shannon go. He means well, you know that. Who exactly? Rasvarn and my brother. <laughs> She kind of rolls her eyes. Alrighty, so All right. where are you guys heading so I can get the cart going for you? Alright, uh, we're going to insert place here. <laughs> insert place. I don't know. I we uh, there, There's no name for it. So yeah. let's, uh, let's, uh, like, this. Uh, we're going to insert place here. Shana raises an eyebrow and that grin kind of flicks up a little bit more and goes, Ah, okay. Going to... <laughs> Going to the Celestial Restaurant, I see. Alrighty. Ah, yes. Uh, of, course. of course, I would be Celestial. Uh, naturally. Fucking naturally. <laughs> naturally. And uh, <laughs> I, 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 um, okay. That's all right. Well, let's see. Let's see um, how this goes because um, yeah. she will start paint. She'll go over to the thing and she'll gar- start ma- marking up everything, and then. As she's walking up the she's going, are you, are you in? And you just hear the quiet voice going, yes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I, I, uh, Malleus, Malleus continues to not, like, he, he, he doesn't pay that any mind. He's, he's not. And, he goes, he and uh, Shana will kind of walk over beside you and she'll lean down to your ear and go, by the way, just so you know. Celestial, the Celestial Restaurant gives discounts to people who think are Celestial Warlocks. Where <laughs> <laughs> right. in your head goes, wait, what? I didn't hear that. Where the fuck did you get I, that? Uh, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> she she kind of winks before she kind of kicks the lever and the tram head, heads I, off. <laughs> I, uh, Malleus, Malleus, Malleus thinks I'm uh, like... I am m- me marching. Uh-huh. Malice Malice is not it, it, as much of a charisma boy he is. He's not very charismatic when it comes to that sense. <laughs> like he 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 will not he will not barter mainly because mainly because marching does not know how to. So and, and marching is very bad at. <laughs> so like right. it's so <laughs> So it is going to. That's going to be a fun one if that has to come up anytime soon. Yeah. So let's, go, let's do this. Oh, don't. All worry. right. Is she? Is she? Um, um. Is she invisible right now? She is invisible until the tram disappears into the tunnels. At which point the okay. invisibility portion seems to wear off. She kind of All like right. sags and goes. Okay, managed to get out of there without a father, or that my dad knows, and that's good. Ah yes. Of course. <laughs> and the sudden realization hits hits uh, Malleus and like and, and then he goes and he goes, uh, hold on who's gonna wait oh shit I forgot <laughs> <laughs> a... uh, well at the very least he wouldn't I don't think he'll threaten you he'll probably give you the, the you know the, the usual father warning and just make sure she's back at this time I'm surprised Shana didn't mm. give you that honestly Oh, well, I am, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about daddy! <laughs> uh, yeah, Malleus forgot, I uh, forgot. Well, well marching, for, uh, marching re- remembers that, that, that dad is an issue. Honestly, Malleus definitely did not. Honestly, it's probably mom that you should probably it's fear mom, more. <laughs> it's mom that I'm more afraid of, though. It's definitely mom. Oh... <laughs> uh... You could probably joke with her dad and get away with murder, probably. Uh, well. <laughs> um. So, so your brother was following you. What's what's going on? Uh, 
not following me per se. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot he was actually in and not at the Shimmering Towers, like where my father is just now. And uh, yeah, he kind of saw me a bit dressed up and he got a bit curious, started following, asking questions, you know, how the older brothers are. And uh, I managed to uh, close the door and lock it before I could get before he could squeeze anything out of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, should I be worried? Uh, worried? Oh, Effer is Effer is extremely laid back. I wouldn't worry too much about him. Okay. How about uh, God? What's his name? What What's his first name? Dad. Uh, or Mar uh, Moldovan? Moldovan. <laughs> what about Moldovan? Um, hmm. Well, judging by the last guy who asked me out, he'll probably have a joke, have, a, have you know, be friendly, and then if he ever gets you alone, he'll just probably tell you if, if, if anything happens to me, he's, you're going to be on the chopping block. You know how dads are. Okay, so the usual, uh, I guess. The, the usual. I don't know what my ma said to him, though. After that conversation, he got very afraid. Okay. Uh, what's what's uh, what's the mom's name again? Uh, her mother is uh, Vivi uh, Viviansa. V Viviansa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to be to be to be quite honest with you, Viviansa scares me more. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of glances to the ceiling as it's whizzing by, and she goes. That's actually understandable, honestly. Even she scares me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, uh, Malleus, Malleus looks her, uh, looks her uh, uh, up and down. Is she wearing something? Is she wearing what she's wearing in the? No, in the... it's it's slightly. What's she wearing? This? Uh, she's so, uh... wearing um a dark, dark pink um, uh, dress, but it's kind of like. How to describe it in a in a way a guy will understand. <laughs> um, so it's a kind of a sleeveless dress, but there's like kind of like, like it kind of like goes across um, her chest and kind of turns into like little sleeves. Mm -hmm. um, so her shoulders are completely bare, and it goes and it's um, full length sleeves that she has on. Yeah, yeah, and, I, I know, I know, I know what they, those look like. Yeah, I know, I know what you're like. It's uh ankle it's a ankle length uh, dress that has a slit down the one side uh and of the the shoes that you see up here as well it's 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 quite a plain dress honestly there's not too much spazzle on and e right. even her own jewelry that she's wearing is very minimal minimalist she's got like little stud earrings on little mm -hmm. gold ones and a very simple um pendant with like a little blue jewel on it all right, so um, so Malleus Malleus glances her up and down, and, he's, and then he goes and says, You're "Looking looking very beautiful today." Um, a a, a flush crosses her face, and she goes, oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, you're you're looking very charming yourself this evening or afternoon, I should say." Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um. Mm, Malleus, Malleus is very, very uh, trying trying his best here, <laughs> his best here to not to not come out, uh, come off as uh, uh, awkward. Uh, <laughs> oh, like, bless. Uh, he's he is very um, he he is just he's just doing he's just trying his hardest right now. Yeah, bless uh, him. And he's uh. And he is. All right, and then and then, um, God, I don't want to. I, I guess small talk now because I, I don't I don't know I don't know what 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 else. Um. Honestly, honestly, to be quite honest, I'd rather be doing this than going and doing whatever the fuck my in my party is doing with with a fucking wizard. The hell. I don't even. I don't want to even deal with that. <laughs> uh, Promethea kind of frowns as she th she thinks and she goes, "Oh, is this the the mage jewel in the cellar? I in the, out that way, yeah." Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. When I read the brief and I got every all the information from the con there, I'm sitting here going, "This should 
clearly be a open and shut case. We're not entirely sure why it's going on the way it has, but uh, we'll, we'll find out once your team's finished, I suppose. Uh, who's in charge of that team, by the way, just now? Who is in charge of that team right now? It's between Colin and Key Talk just now. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it 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 isn't. Well, hopefully it's Colin. <laughs> but honestly, I I I don't know because he's, you know, <laughs> uh, he's Colin. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It takes a lot. Like if Colin if Colin puts his mind to something, he he can do it well, and he's and he's very serious. It only takes him to get to that point because it's it'll just be like him being him and, yeah. <laughs> she has a, she <laughs> kind of closes her eyes for a moment she goes I have had enough Colin for one week after that visit to the Shimmerin Towers to visit his uncle that was dreadful enough as is did, did, did I, do I know about this? does Molly uh, know about this? I'm not sure I don't think Colin's really said very much about it I know about uh, I know about his dad, right? Yeah, you know about his dad. I know I know his backstory. Mm -hmm. I don't know about his uncle. I believe I, I don't believe I that don't, I, I know don't anything. Know if he's talked to anything about what he's discovered I don't lately. Think, I don't remember if he has or not. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let that one slide for a bit because I don't I don't I don't know mm -hmm. I don't know if. He know if if Malleus knows, I don't want to say anything. Yeah. So I'm just gonna let that one slide then. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Hmm. That's <laughs> Malleus. Um, this is. Uh, by the way, by the way, this is this is still like I, I forgot. This is still the first IOU that Malleus has. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, because because this is this is still for the for the freaking horn. horn. Yep, this is still for the horn. This is still for the horn. Oh lord. Yep. Oh god. Okay. All right. Well. Um, the train starts to begin slowing down as she, as it starts to approach the the station, and Mio kind of like glance up as as it's getting closer, and she go, "Uh, how did the the horn incident go? By the way." That all sorted. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the result of that is this little asshole over here. Oh, uh, he points to Ramad. Ramad pokes out of the lamp because he went on, on, in there to hide. <laughs> he kind of like glanced to to Malleus before kind of pulling himself straight, <laughs> kind of sitting standing on the lamp, and you he'll, he'll turn to Promethea and he'll 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 bow and you go, "My lady, my lady, a pleasure to meet you. My apologies, we did not get introduced earlier." Yeah, this is Ramad. Prometheus kind of uh, glances down at him and then glances up to Malleus. <laughs> yeah, well, originally, originally it was a talisman, but uh, that wasn't clicking. If you get my drift, it, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't use it. It wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> so. So then, uh, so then, um, uh, so then, uh, the Shara over here gave me this, and he, uh, and he point, and he takes, uh, he, he pulls down the, uh, the, he pulls down, like, his sleeve, and you see the chains wrapped around his arm, uh, -huh. uh, uh God of War style. Yep. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, so then, uh, the Shara gave me this, and, uh, he, he sees the chains, uh, they're kind of glowy, red. Mm -hmm. And uh, and with this came Ramad, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's an asshole. My lord, my lord, I, I I understand that we have our differences from time to time, but surely we we can be uh, civil civil before the fine lady, can't we? Okay, listen here, <laughs> stop. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> Mio will raise an eyebrow as a smile begins to spread on her lips and she's gonna go Okay, either there's a severe misunderstanding between you two 
or he's or one of you are putting on a face here and i'm not entirely sure he who is, is. He is putting on a face. This guy. This guy said that he he's uh, he crashed an entire uh, economy before, and he he doesn't sound like this. He sounds like a freaking used cart salesman. <laughs> Promethea looks absolutely bemused by the idea, and she just has like this permanent smile stuck on her face at the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ramad, this is... Ramad will glower at you and she'll go and he, he will go my lord please okay I'm market. stopping you right here <laughs> I'm stopping you right here you are going to speak to her plainly and if you're saying any dumb anything dumb I will personally kill you myself <sighs> you see what I have to live with hen <laughs> Just, there you have it. She'll just shake her head. And she'll go, I have to ask, what kind of familiar is he? Is he an independent or a soulbound? Is he soulbound? Uh, he's an independent. He's an independent. The, he's, he's, uh, what's, what's the difference? Yeah, I was going to say. So, Ramad technically is Dersharo's familiar. Okay. Not so. Terra and Freya are soulbound familiar, so they basically take on parts of Colin's personality, but they hype them up to an extreme. That, that's what happens with familiars. Independents have their own mind, their own personality, their own wants and desires. Um, mm-hmm. And independent um, familiars tend to be associated with another being, but they are in mm-hmm. service to you through that being. Okay. Yeah, well, he's he's an independent family. Okay, he's thank technic- God. He's talking. Tec- he's technically boss man's uh, underling, if, if we say that, if we can, the, if we call it that way. The lead of the lamp pops up, and you just hear Dark Shadows laughter, going, "Boss man, he called me boss man." <laughs> Close his lid. Prometheus <laughs> trying to smother a, a smother a giggle that's rising up as the train as the cart comes to a stop. Uh, um, uh, so we're at the station now. Yes, you're at the station. So, so I I get out. Uh, Malleus gets out and he he holds his hand out for her. Uh, Promethea will take it and she'll step out of the the cart with your gentle aid. All right. Uh, how far away? Where is the uh? the restaurant um the restaurant is about two blocks away two blocks walk away from where you're currently, all right. currently are all right well well um i uh i make uh i i i usher uh, i uh, not usher but like i i start walking uh, i start walking with her in like in tow mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, Malleus will, will try, will, for now, will, will try to hold her hand down. Uh, like, let's see, let's see if this, <laughs> are, you, see if this are you offering an, an arm or a hand? An arm. an arm. Offering an arm. Uh, Promethea will, will take it. She'll loop her arm in with yours. And All she'll, right, she'll, so fall, she'll fall in step with you. Alright. Uh, um. I will. I will be. Uh, I will be observant. Like, like I'll, I'll be. I'll be trying to make perception checks along the way of like things, people, shit that doesn't that shouldn't be there. Like in, in like people who are following and such. Uh, roll perception just now. Let's see what we have for baseline. Uh, is this is is this uh, token correct? It should be the correct one. So if I just click perception, it'll work, right? Yeah, it should be your to- your your most up to date token. Okay. Okay. Uh, you. Gl- I have a one wisdom twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you you glance around the the area, kind of keeping an eye out for things. Um, the city at, in this particular area is very finely decorated. All the the buildings are very finely cut marble that seems to get cleaned on a on a monthly basis at the minimum to keep them pearly white. There's intricate gravings within the stonework. Some of the buildings closer to the massive tower and city walls that are 
40 to 60 stories tall, depending on where exactly you are, are, mm -hmm. um, they are, um, they block out some of the sunlight just now because the sun's at the other end of the city just now. Um, okay. But there are some gold decorations up some of the buildings and some of the lamp posts have like these decorative gold veins curling up them to kind of uh, make the area seem a little bit posher than perhaps it really should be. Um, mm -hmm. As you start getting closer towards the um, the restaurant, um, the you can see a couple of shops are starting to get ready to... Mm, it's around about three o'clock so they're starting to get into the kind of the tail end of their of their opening times just now mm -hmm. uh most of the shops in this area are jewelry shops there's a couple of clothes shops of like boutiques um there's a couple of from what you saw at first glance some horrifically overpriced hairdressers and barber shops um and the area seems pretty lavish the air is very fresh and full of um rich floral smells mm -hmm. uh if you want to do any other perception rolls just let me know if you're if you're going to be doing them as you so no no one no one like i at least i can't see anything uh, uh no one following no from that no. perception roll, you cannot see anyone following no okay all right i i hate D. &D. <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> oh yes! I can't wait for you to see the last session. Jake could not roll higher than a five for investigation the entire night. Bro, investigation like I I can't like <laughs> I I hate being these. We had they were like, they were checking. Like I know I know that there's something there. There has to be something. It can't be nothing. They were so. they were checking for traps at this one location. Jake rolled. I think it was a two two. So even if he had help as well, and he rolled double twos, he then rolled Leah, double twos. then Leah tried. I think she got double fives, and then Sandra tried, and she got like a three and a nine. <laughs> and then okay. and then Colin's just like, oh, I'll just roll for the sake. But he got like a nineteen. <laughs> this like I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now that uh, like like this uh, this this is D, D is is exactly this it can't be it, it can't be nothing it has to be something <laughs> like god god it, it, oh oh you definitely don't see anything but there's definitely something there come on there has to be something there god why <laughs> why do the dice hate me <laughs> um anyway anyway like in 12 is not even a terrible role either it's, it's pretty it's a good it's, so it's an average rich. role yeah. it's a it's an average role like like come on all right. Um. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. Okay. So are we? I continue. We continue walking over there toward the uh, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Uh. As you begin to approach the the city walls, you do see that there is a a brightly lit um. Re uh, restaurant almost straight ahead of you, kind of built into the city wall itself, and there's even. It's so um, it's such a clear path straight through this restaurant. You, you can even see the light on the the sunshine like, coming through the windows on the other side of the city wall. On the on the other side of the city wall. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Cool. Um. So, so I go and say I go and say. Um, all right. This this looks like the place. <laughs> Mia will uh, kind of look around the area a little bit herself and uh, she'll go ah, it definitely seems like the right area uh, definitely not many places built into the city wall as far as I remember this used to be an actual guard garrison alright cool uh, let's uh, let's make our way there then and we I walk there uh, with her in tow yep um, so you enter the the restaurant you are immediately hit with the the wave of cooked foods and coffee and wine and god knows what else in the air uh there is lots of um raised planters with lots of delicate flowers kind of placed around the area they've even managed to get like one the upper balconies because it's a two floor um establishment that you can see here Mm -hmm. uh, the balconies all have like these trailing plants and with these very delicate looking pale white pink pale white and pink flowers on them 
Uh, the the room is very brightly lit with the, the sun kind of coming through the other side as it's beginning to make its way back down towards the horizon. And um, even without that sunlight, there are plenty of um, torch lights um, decorating the, the ceilings in massive chandeliers. Um, Promethea is kind of looking around the area, kind of very intrigued, very um, interested in the, in the decor a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, wow. This place looks kind of crazy. Look at that. And like, <laughs> like, looking, like, Malleus, Mal, once again, Malleus has never seen anything like this. Uh-huh. Like, he is, like, like, this is, this is for some reason, somehow he is, he is batting way above his, uh, his average here. <laughs> and it has no idea, like, this is, this is way, this is, like, this is like way above anything that he's ever had the money for. Yeah. No, no with all for. So like he is, he is way batting way above his average right now. Uh, Promethea is kind of looking up at the the massive glass chandelier that's kind of in the middle of the room above a very open area that's probably used as a, a dance floor during either gatherings or during the night or when they have events on. And she kind of look at it for a second, and then her eyes will go wide, and she'll go, "Wait a." Minute. Hang on a second. I think that's the chandelier that used to be in the the opening room of the Shimmering Towers. That got like destroyed that one time when uh, she kind of like, glanced over to Mally's and in, in Inferno she she her him. Um... Yeah. So as kids, uh, we had a we had a bit of a challenge to see how much um, if anyone could actually you know get on that thing and see how much it could swing. <laughs> uh, long story short, it couldn't take an awful lot of weight. Uh, thankfully someone had feather fall, but it's still shattered on the ground. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm amazed to see it here and somewhat repaired. You can still see the massive crack along the, um, one of the vertical, um, spires there. Holding up one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and lo and behold, lo and behold, there's, uh, there's a giant crack there, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she, and she'll right. go, I'm relatively sure that's where Eamon tried to try to grab onto it. Oh, Ma was Ma was not impressed. Alright, well Okay, well uh so on that note on that note I look for like a hostess or something. Yeah. A host hostess. Um or... as you come in there's um a please wait um kind of like server bar right by the door and mm -hmm. a um a dark a, a tall um dark toned elf will approach um walking with a very very straight back and a very um i, su I suppose a neutral expression on his face you know like typical bu um, butlers or, or in the big fancy places all have this very stoic expression on their faces uh he will politely bow to you as you enter and you'll go uh, my lord, my lady, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the Celeste restaurant. Uh, table for two? Uh, yes, please. Ah, oh, very uh, good. Uh, upstairs yeah. or downstairs? Um, yeah, let's take it upstairs. Upstairs, right? I, 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 looked at her, I looked at her. Um, she will kind of glance around and she'll go, upstairs is, looks a little, bit, a little bit more interesting than down here, yeah. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Uh, he will bow again, and he'll pick up two menus, and he'll um, lead you up a, a set of um, stairs just off to the, the far side of the wall, on your on your left. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. He will take you round, kind of towards where the inner sanctum area is, and uh, the, he'll present to you to a table, a small little table for two, um, and you can out just off to the. Um, towards the back of the restaurant you get a relatively good view of like the, the inner part of the inner sanctum of the inner sanctum yeah you're on the back side of it of the restaurant so you came in through the outer sanctum and then there's windows that look out onto the inner sanctum on the other side okay i'm confused uh right I had to do this so actually why don't i try this um okay okay right, wait okay. a minute wait a minute so, so... Okay, so so we are currently we are currently in 
Uh, we are currently in the outer sanctum, right? Uh, yes. So. Um, and then, you... and then, and then, this restaurant is on the is on the wall to the inner sanctum. Yeah. So if I. Okay. If I I'm no it, longer confused. Yeah. So I'm I'm drawing a thing off to the side of Prometheus here. Yes, I see it. So, this white block is the the city wall that separates the inner and the outer sanctums. Okay. The restaurant takes up the entire width of the wall. Ah, so I see. you came in through the outer sanctum and you're seated about. Uh, let me get out of this tool. About here. So you're at within. You're deep within the oh. city wall. Oh, we're deep within the city wall. We're like I can. We can see into the inter in the yeah, inner sanctum through the windows. You oh, can okay. see the, the inner sanctum, but you All can right. also All just right. see the outer sanctum. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. All right, no longer confused. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, DM. <laughs> no worries. Um, he will offer a seat for Prometheus and then gently push it back in as she sits down and then put the, the menus down. Uh, and mm -hmm. he will, um, just as he, before he departs, he will say, ah, uh, the, uh, the, the soup of the day is, is minestrone. If any of you bows and then departs. And then she'll kind All of right. like glance up and she'll go, minestrone in a place like this? Well, I suppose the I suppose the mimic soup didn't go over too well last time I was here. <laughs> She's oh, got a grin uh, on I her cannot... face. <laughs> oh no, I can only imagine how that will go. Instead of you eating the soup, the soup eats you. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, honestly. Oh great, oh, lovely. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they thought that they were making a soup out, a, a soup out of mimic, but. One of the mimics escaped and turned into the soup bowl. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, well, thankfully, they lived. Um, but the the restaurant did very quickly have to ban mimic related food on their on their menu. Oh <sighs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can on I can honestly imagine uh, making something out of a mimic could possibly turn it into a mimic itself who would have thought <laughs> she, she kind of shakes her head and she goes reminds me of the time Doran got eaten by a mimic that was fun <laughs> <laughs> okay well anyway Ugh. so so uh I look over the uh, I look over the the, the menu. What, what what do we got? What, what do we got rolling here? Uh, there's what kind of, uh, th th what, kind of, what kind of a restaurant we got here? Uh, it's a a bit of a varied restaurant. It's got it's got quite a bit going on. So on the menu, it's obviously split into appetizers, starters, um, uh, mains and desserts and such like. Um, but it also has little small sections for continent for different kind of country style things so there's a little bit of a toning in here there's a little bit of um uh salonness and stuff it's a bit of El Roth in here um mm -hmm. it's got uh one column associated to various types of curries and spicy food that's come over from like Rovegia and everything across the sea that is not not gonna happen like i am not going to like malleus will not will completely ignore that <laughs> and uh, he is he is instead going to hmm what is it what is he gonna do what what, what kind of what kind of food is, is he gonna like there's, um, a little anything... bit of every... there's a little something yeah. here for everyone just about yeah well i'm gonna Let's uh let's see what let's see what you uh what you uh uh so uh uh what you're looking at here like uh, what, what are we uh oh, what, uh you've been here before what's uh uh what's the good stuff um <laughs> like... she <laughs> she will kind of glance down the menu a little bit and she'll go from my own personal experience don't take any of the Thornmore stuff. Now, I assume that these are nice, but for some reason, they don't cook anything over there. Uh, they're very into their raws, I should I say. Hmm. Okay. Um, if you like seafood, a lot of the um, stuff from Zara V is very good. Um, just be careful. If you see anything that has like a skull and crossbone, be careful. It 
was a venomous creature and there's a slight chance that it might still have venom in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good on that one. <laughs> yeah, they only do that for the adventurous ones or those that are actually immune to that type of venom. I knew one guy who was and uh, he actually asked for the venom pouch. I've, huh. I've never seen so many people run from an area so fast in my life when it squirted everywhere. Huh. Huh. Okay. Um. So, uh. Uh. So, what do we have? Like, what, what else, um. Uh, so. The Atonin section, for example, that's going to be a lot of um, Brazilian and South American dishes, sort of thing, that you would okay, find there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is. Forgot, what's my area? Again? Uh, you're Atonin. Where I was... Atonin, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Honestly, honestly, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's go with something that I, uh, like. So, uh, how are the, uh, how are the Atonin dishes here? <laughs> Oh, good? some of them are good. Um, it, it's a real shame that um, <laughs> you see the, the they have a really nice like kebab here once time, but I think they've mm. changed the chef since then, and it's not actually a um, a tiefling that makes them anymore, so it doesn't quite have the same thing. But as far as I know, um, mm. oh they got oh they got the um the poultry hearts back in again. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Um, one, one second. One second. One second. One second. No worries. All right. Okay. Uh. All right. Well, let's see how good they really are. Then. <laughs> 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 he, 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 he narrows his eyes, looks at her, looks down at the menu and like, hmm, all right, let's see how good they really are. <laughs> She'll uh, flick her eyes up to look at you and that grin is kind of growing a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's, uh, all right, so, so let's, so let's, let's see, um, uh, did a waiter waitress come by yet? Uh, yeah, there's a, a waitress will come by looking for for our drink orders. Um, I, I look over, I look, uh, Malice looks over and like, wine? Question mark? Uh, like, like, uh, a question. Wine? Promethea will kind of take a quick glance at the wine menu and as, as she's kind of going, she's kind of like looking down and as you're, you kind of glance over at it as well. Um, the cheapest ones are at the top, and then as it gets far, far more expensive as you get going down, her eyes, you see her eyes drifting down, and then she kind of makes a face like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then she'll, she'll, uh, I know, I'll quickly get my thing up, and she'll just go, uh, uh, could we have a, a bottle of, uh, Taliva Red, please? Uh, you, okay, sure. I look. I look at the. I look at the 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 the, the bottle and the, to leave a red. And how much is that? Uh, to leave a red is four gold. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, waitress will write that down. Um, for... I'm right. Uh, I'm, let, me, let me make a list here. Hold on. Yeah. I'm quickly to, getting a uh, couple of other things up. Yeah, you're winging it. <laughs> <laughs> a calculator, a calculator. I'm, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start calculating this shit. All right, so that's four. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just quickly go down here. Uh, actually, got an idea. Do -do -do. Uh, which one was it that we wanted? Uh, and then she'll kind of go look down, and she'll go, um, um. <laughs> Sorry, I've got like three windows open up here trying to figure this nonsense out. Welcome to food, everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then she will, um, yeah, we'll go with that one. What was it? Thing was in. Ah, why is it not on? 
I do. And then she'll kind of go, uh, could I also have the, um, ballet with the, uh, tomato, tomato and, uh, garlic sauce, please, as well. Uh, waitress will kind of write that down. Uh, ballet, by the way, is a kind of, uh, a, a sand kind of reptile that lives out in a toner. Mm. And it's kind of like a small appetizer sort of thing. Alright. Oh, I say a small appetizer. The creature itself is very large, so just you use it in small strip small strips. Right. Um, is that is that like like so so um honestly, uh uh I am not going um uh, hmm. You if you want to use actual like Brazilian foods, that's fine. <laughs> You'll know what they are and I'll just like play along with it. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. Let me let me thing here. All right. Ah. Okay. Um, all right, and uh, um, uh, can I get uh, I want um, I want to portion your uh, cochina and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, with uh, with cheese, with the cheese inside, please. Thank you, certainly, sir. Uh, for your main courses, <laughs> coraçãozinho, please. <laughs> For me, what kind of flicker brows off? <laughs> uh, she'll turn and she'll go. Could I get the uh, the stuff to Eblis, please? Uh, the atonin style, please. And she'll go. Certainly. Uh, would you like desserts now, or would you like to see how you are later? Uh. Uh, let's 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 uh let's uh, wait for a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look over the look. My eyes look so it's a it's a for me the. Uh, it's let's, gonna be a it's it's let's wait. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just hold off for a little bit on that. Thank you. Uh, the waitress will kind of bite her head and she'll um take the menus and head off. And then she'll kind of like Prometheus still holding the main menu and she's looking at this and going, "Who oh, the fuck paid for a two hundred gold bottle of red?" I don't know. He he. I don't know. They might uh, might be uh, 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 might have gotten hit in the head or something when he was younger. I don't know. Most likely, especially for a Marguenian one. Ugh, she kind of shudders. <laughs> Very sour those ones. <sighs> God, I, talking about someone who's not even here. Holy shit! <laughs> she has no idea. <laughs> and and neither does he. Yep. And neither does he. It's like it's like uh, I'm talking about us, yeah. our character. I know. It's so uh, funny. Oh though. God. <laughs> yeah. Um, she'll kind of um set it down. She'll go. Uh, Tavila Red is usually a very safe go-to in places like this. They very rarely they do they go wrong. The others are always very. She kind of glance to the menu and go. They like to play with the prices. Uh, Tavila Red actually has um, caps on it from the producer. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's that's very nice because I'm I have no idea about wine. <laughs> this is both. This is not. Uh, this is not RP. <laughs> Don't worry. This is I'm, not I'm not. I do not. I do not. I have no idea about wine. This is very like. Like there's only there's only like a single type of wine that I like, and that does, and, and like, and usually it's made sparkling, and I don't like sparkling. So oh, like, bless. Oh god, don't. the only I like. Oh god, it's so like wine. Wine in general just like makes me very sleepy. I don't like it. <laughs> don't worry, uh, I'm teetotal. I don't know anything about alcohol. <laughs> mm. All I know is my mum and dad like red. Grab the random, the most random bottle of red I can find and give it to them. Yeah, um, the cochina, like, usually with the cochina, it's, it's just, it's usually just street food. And, but, like, I'm very interested in how they make this here. And, like, because it's not that difficult. Well, it's not, well, 
I should rephrase that. It's it's a very simple like like food, but it's it can be easily messed up. Yeah, I noticed that. You're being very brave. Most restaurants tend to be a little bit twitchy about street food like that. I only ha I've only had it once, and that's when we were visiting family over in Atona. Yeah, well, let's see how let's see how this goes. I'm gonna let's let's see how it rolls here. Yeah. I got I got I got something in my pocket for this one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Anyway, uh, what is so how are you doing today? How how's how's things go how are things going with uh everything, honestly? <laughs> uh Promethea will kinda like lean back in the chair and she'll uh, <laughs> and let her have a, a loose breath and she'll go Well, it's uh getting a little bit busier. Uh we've had uh, quite a lot of mission requests starting to come in, but we are getting more hands on board, which is very grateful. Um Thankfully, the war with the Vasa is kind of hitting a slight quiet period. She ha kind of has this, like the face like she's not entirely sure. Um, um, but then she'll go. That doesn't. Um, on you go. go. Go ahead. That doesn't sound convincing. <sighs> she sighs and she or goes. Or look convincing. <laughs> I look at her face. <laughs> uh, she just sighs and defeat. She just goes. I've given up trying to understand what's going on through their heads now. I thought I knew once upon a time, but I don't know. They've apparently times changed faster than I realize. It seems. Does she? Question. Does she look okay? Ah, uh, give me a. Pro or is that? Give, mm, give me an investigation because you're actually studying her. Uh, let's see. Fuck. Um, what's the name? You can see that she's probably just a touch on the paler side than what you, what you saw her last time. Um, but other than that, she seems to be okay. You? You look. Are, are you? Are you okay? And I like, like I, I look at her. Like she. uh... Are you feeling a little under the weather or something? Or you look a little bit pale. Uh, she kind of jumps in surprise, and she'll kind of like <laughs> trying to she try and give you a comforting smile, and she goes. Ah, oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's just uh, uh, we're working long nights. In sight. In sight. Fuck me, bro. I gosh, I'll have to do it. Has she got all of her stats on here? Actually, let me quickly double check that. Ah, uh, she does have stats on here. Come on, roll a one. Roll a one. Roll a uh, one. Uh, that would have to be uh. Not performance, it's deception, isn't it? It's perception. <laughs> god damn it! Is that in 20? Yes, in that 20! Oh my god! <laughs> she is so good! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I mean, she seems to be telling the truth. Oh, well, okay, well. Alright, well. You say so. I was like, <laughs> I was like, um. Uh, okay. Yeah, well. I don't know. It's that last, that last uh, 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 mission that we had. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Oh god, I was not ready for a barbarian to come. Like, like, like I like directly just ignore everyone else and charge straight for me. Not ready for that. <laughs> um, Promethea's eyes kind of turn like a, a little touch on the, the on the sad side, and she'll go, "Yes, I read the report. It was um, Chris and his hammock, from what I, re I recall. Yeah, 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 it was. Yeah. Uh, he targets he targeted me specifically for this, and he, and of course, points to points to his neck. <laughs> like, oh, well, not saying that, like." He points yeah, to yeah. his neck. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, uh, I, I would, I, I did not know that uh, it was uh, you customary for when uh, two Amex fight that the uh, 
that the leaders would uh, <laughs> go toe-to-toe -to -toe like that. I did not realize that was the case. Parita would kind of shake her head a little bit and she'll go, uh, it's a bit of an unwritten rule. Most of the time, as you'll hopefully you'll start to do now, most of the time cans tend to wear something around their necks to kind of hide that. It helps if other members of the Amic do the same so they can't really target one or the other. Hmm. Some bear them, some, I've even seen some Amics where they purposely have one of the others who's a little bit more um, beefy, shall we say, um, have cut, uh, painted on versions on their necks just to kind of make up the skies to kind of trick people. It wouldn't be the first time Rest Farns warned them. Uh, warned them. Um, it took, yeah, I've, I've been on the other side of a barbarian once. That, that wasn't fun. I think I still have a scar on my back from that one. Yeah, well, that entire that entire thing was a mess. You know, it was just just bad decisions all around. Uh, she'll she'll smile and she'll lean back. She kind of snuggle deeper into the chair and she'll go, "Yeah, it's a shame you had to fight Chris, though." Yeah. Well, apparently. Apparently, it, well, no. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, well, it ended up working out at the end, even though it was a little, uh, shall you say, alternative methods. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Prometheus will kind of smell then. Just goes, well, I'm glad you didn't kill him. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much of the history of um, the Friend Thrust family you actually know. Um, uh, let's say, uh, zero. <laughs> she smiled at that point and she'll go, uh, if, would you believe me if I told you about three years ago, the Vossi and the Friend Thrust were the closest of allies? Uh, no, I would not believe you considering, and considering that, what's going on right now. Yes, you can probably now understand why everything's so hectic just now. Chris used to be uh, one of the envoys, actually. He'd go between Vossi and Frenthros quite a lot, so he was dealing with them um, with us quite a lot sometimes. Alright, yeah, well... That is surprising, honestly, considering what, uh, what I encountered. She he had... was very... He was very protective of his children, though, which is admirable. Mm. She kind of flicked her lips, kind of flick off, and she'll go. He is extremely protective of his family, and honestly, I don't blame him. Yeah, but using his kids to do his dirty work is a little bit. Her eyes disgusting. narrow. Her eyes narrow at that, and she'll go. Wait, he was doing what? Yeah, his. Kids were luring people to the location. Promethea will, um, she'll look quite surprised, honestly, and she'll go, Um, that doesn't sound like the Chris I know. Hmm. I might need to take a look into that, because that seems odd. Yeah, like, uh, with, with, uh, with Key Talk. He was led by the girl or the boy? Uh, the girl. No, it was the he boy. The... It was the boy. You guys had the girl. He he and the uh, he and uh, um and uh, what is Leah's character? Uh, Everly. Her name. Everly. He and Everly were were led by the girl. Right, the girl. The right. Boy. The boy. They were led by the boy to the, to the warehouse. And, and myself, uh, myself and the, and the party were led by the girl. Promethea will fold her Well, arms. rather, well, rather, we were trying, they were trying, the, the girl was trying to lead us there. We kind of, like, caught on. That's extremely peculiar. I might need to question Chris when I get a chance. Assuming Papa will let me go down there. Uh... Maybe. I don't know. 
Um, do, do I know that that uh, that uh, 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 Jack is going to go in there and que question Chris himself? Um, I don't think he voiced that he was going to do. It. He might have voiced that he was going to do that, and that's why he wasn't going with the party. Or he might have just said nothing and just gone. <laughs> no, okay, well. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just, say anything. Just assume I'm he not, didn't I, say I, anything and just wait. Yeah, I, I, I assume. I assume that he's not gonna say anything. Hey, right. yeah, I just don't. I, I. That's that's all I like. That's what we saw. So like, I, and I have no rela or early previous relation with this individual. So I have no idea what before and after was. All I know is that you like from my point of view using your kids as as like lore or bait for individuals is disgusting in my book <sighs> agreed i will how i'll have somebody look into it i don't know maybe Dory. yeah at least at least your kids they're not like of age like they're they were like i don't know six <laughs> like the six like how that old are sounds, they that sounds about right yeah <laughs> Like is they're, they're as old as old as freaking chai. Like it's, it's not. She um a, a, a little spark will appear in her eye and she go. I don't think we can really count chai honestly, given her we history. We can't count chai. We can't count chai. All I'm saying is that she's as old. As, they were they were as old as her. Chai's special. <laughs> she'll laugh about that one. She'll go. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. I read the records. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um. Anyway. Uh, um. The food? waitress is coming around. <laughs> she'll put down a, a bottle of wine and so uh, your your starters. All right. So um, uh, the bottle. Oh, so the bottle is there. There's the glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, Malleus will will pop the cork, and he he will uh he will ask, uh, wine. <laughs> it's like it's, it's to pour. Uh, she will smile and she'll say yes, please. And it's like uh, pours the wine out for both of us. Uh, uh, lifts up the list, uh, lifts up the glass to to uh, to toast and like you know, clink the glass. Yeah, um, Prometheus will mimic as well. And then, uh, and then he he will take a he will take a drink. How good is it? It's like let me let me roll for that actually. Oh, you want to roll for it? I'm rolling for it. Let me see All if right. I let me see if uh, Malleus likes it. Okay. Of all the dice that are on there, why is the only one missing a D twenty? <laughs> uh, hang on, which one's missing? The D twenty dice in the dice box. Oh, it's missing. Why is it? Uh, Literally, give, the give only one, one that's important. Give yeah. Me, give me one minute. I'll duplicate. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna roll it for myself. But like, flash. Yeah, I'll quit roll. Three. Okay, it's pretty good actually. That's yeah, pretty good. All right, that D twenty should work. Let me test that really quick. Hey. Okay. I also rolled a 16 there. That's crazy. <laughs> Some magic. Um, that's, that's great. Um, the wine is, is, isn't as tart as you thought you would have thought it was expected. It's a, it's a actually, little bit sweeter than actually, normal. I actually like this wine because it's uh, funny enough because because I, I me, marching, likes likes sweet sweeter wines instead of uh, dry. Yeah. Like, I hate dry wines. That is disgusting <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm literally <laughs> literally drinking sand like not not happening i'm gonna i won't lie to you all wine tastes the same to me all wine. oh god dude that is just incorrect but <laughs> like, like like even coming from someone who of someone who doesn't like drinking wine that is just incorrect like, i know not it's all incorrect. wine drinks the same it's, I, I not all wine tastes the same but it's but it's just they like dry wines are just <laughs> Sand. No, like I've got an even like worse sand. one for you. All wines taste the same as beers to me. Okay, now now you're just now you're just saying bullshit. <laughs> that they taste the same to me because I don't drink them, so I'm not used to them. So all I taste is with whatever alcohol is. That is crazy. They all taste not the all same beers. To me. It's also not all beers taste the same I, either. I know, I know, I recognize this, but it all tastes the same to me. That's insane. Anyway, um, all right. So I, um, so the food's here, right? Yeah. Like the like the appetizers. Uh huh. All right, all right. 
So I look down at the uh, I look down at the dish. Um, let me let me let me roll for this too because I want to I want to see. Okay. It's, it's the, about average. The 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 kushina, the kushina looks a little bit deformed. It doesn't have the little raindrop look to it. Uh -huh. It's a little bit more rounder than usual. So so uh, Malleus takes it up. He, 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 you, you eat this with your hands. You don't like knife and fork it. Mm -hmm. So, so Malleus takes one. He looks at it. He looks at it. He, he takes a bite into it, and he goes, "Okay, it's not terrible. It's not, it's not the best I've ever had, but it's not terrible. It's good. It's actually pretty okay. And the cheese is nice and okay, uh, nice and nice. It's like in." in Usually the the cheese the katupiri mm -hmm. uh, is is toward the bottom, yeah. right? It's like it's 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 a, it's a doughy. It, think of it is like it's a it's a doughy outside. They fry it, and inside there's chick there's like shredded chicken or whatever you want in there, but it's usually shredded chicken. Mm -hmm. So so it's a uh, shredded chicken in there, and they add the katupiri cheese inside of it too. So you. If you break it, you should like it should break nice and evenly, and there should see the dough, the chicken, and the, and the thing everywhere. So it's it's okay. It's a good one. The only issue is that it doesn't look like a koshian. Yeah. It looks like a, a. It looks like a. It looks like a dough ball. Yeah. Which is not ideal, but yeah. still tastes good. Um, Prometheus will kind of look up after taking a bite of one of hers, and she'll kind of go. I remember. I think it was my, my um, old, youngest of my older sisters who actually managed to sneak out to one of the food vendors when we were in Atona that one time, and she actually brought us back a whole fry up from, from this one vendor. I've never seen my father eat so much in my life. I swear to God. Yeah, well, if you eat too many, you're just gonna fall asleep afterwards because, of, because of the pure amount of carbs. Ah, that explains that. that. These things. That these things uh, have, like these things are like. Hold on, let me let me send let me send you the Google. Let me send you the the picture. <laughs> and uh, let me see if I can paste this here. No, hold on. Uh, how do I? Can I? Can can you DM it to me? I I can DM it to you. Hold on. Uh, so let me. Copy image. Going to DMs. Uni. Ah, I see. You see, you see what I mean? That actually looked quite good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. How I personally don't like the 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 ones with katupiri because I don't like katupiri mm -hmm. but um which is like a cheese it's like it's, it's like a, it's like a it's like a cheese spread type of thing uh -huh. but it's it's um it's that's very good usually mm -hmm. and it should look have this this like raindrop look right uh huh so so that's what I'm saying like yeah it, I get it you know. the one that the one that they came here they made it into a ball instead that's what I'm saying yeah. It, so, but it tastes the same. So, I was kind of hoping for a, for a mediocre roll, not a not a bad roll, and I was not hoping for a good roll either because I was looking for a mediocre one just so just so Malleus could be uh, all uppity about how oh this one's just <laughs> this is not this is not as good as the ones back home. It's okay, but you've had better. I've had better. I've had okay. It's, it's eh. not as good as mom's. Uh, mm. She'll um, Prometheus will kind of like partially choke on her, so she's trying to smother her laughter, and she'll go, "Oh no, please don't mention mother's cooking. My ma tried to cook once, and she's now just banned from the kitchen." Ah, you know, I uh, Malleus, Malleus uh, sits there a little bit, is like thinking, "I wish I uh." Kind of wish I could see her again, <laughs> and just look, looks down, looks down at the, looks down at the the cushions, like, yeah, kind of wish I could. See her again. Uh, Prometheus will kind of like <sighs> look up and she'll go, 
Ah, uh, if you'd like, I can try and see if I can get some missions in Atona. Get you over that way. I mean... Malleus is kind of like... I'm still kind of banished, so... Um, I don't know how I don't know how that's gonna work. She'll kind of look to the ceiling as she thinks for a moment, and she'll go. Well, as far as I re I know, um, your banishment is from your your village. However, the capital is still open to you. And that's and that's where your your family is. So technically, you could you know sneak on in there, see your mom, and then sneak on out before daddy catches you. <laughs> Just do it, me. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll think I'll think about it, and Malleus Malleus will continue, like he'll he'll continue breaking off. He he he'll he'll look at he'll look at the question. Holy! I heard that one. <gasps> Booms at the sky. Wow, that scared me actually. <laughs> that actually physically scared me. I thought something like crashed outside or something. Well, something did crash outside, but it wasn't like a car. Holy crap, that scared me. That was, I was not expecting that. Honestly, it sounded like a lorry hitting a lamppost or something. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like it sounded like a car hitting something. <laughs> no, it was an actual. It was just the sky being angry. <laughs> why are you so angry? Oh wait, uh, you're Florida. Floridian. That's why. Florida. <laughs> Question answered. Uh, uh, the entire the entire freaking state is a freaking hazard. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's Florida to be fair. Uh, so yeah, no, but like I was just sitting here, like you know, yeah, I think uh, let's see if we can find something uh, that to do over there. I think I'll like that a lot, actually. I'll see what see I can homeland. do. Uh, no promises. Um, you are still yeah. fairly low rank just now, but yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not expecting anything now. Just. Gotta build and build up the credibility, I guess. Yeah, hopefully you should be getting a rank up mission relatively soon. Probably in about another four or so missions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, uh, she's having whatever the hell she's having, right? Yeah, it was like that's kind of like. Gonna... Gecko meat, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna offer her. I'm gonna offer her one of the uh, one of the um one of the questions. Um, she you wanna, her her eyes are kind of her eyes are kind of like lay up a little bit. She go, oh, uh, thank you. I, I'd like to, yes. And she'll kind of yeah. take it off your take it away from you, and she'll kind of bite down onto it, and she'll go. I see what you mean. Yeah, it's nice, but it's it's just kind of missing something, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's not the same it's it's something something's off i don't know i it, it, i can't put my finger on it it's not because it doesn't look the same look right it's it's definitely not that i think it's just missing something i don't know yeah. uh, maybe, maybe it's the, maybe it's the dough or something i don't know yeah. she'll kind of like grin and she'll go oh, is this, it, this is a it, six it, out of it, ten <laughs> is, is it is it is it is it bait is that the reason why uh, it and i look at it bait, I, I, <laughs> I look at it, it's like, like, oh, it's baked. Ah, that would explain ah. it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's what. I guess they're too expensive for a deep fryer? She kind of look a bit confused by her own, her own statement. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you're going to make this, you don't even have to deep fry it. Just like put it in a, in a pan, add some oil to it. Like fry it normally. You, you don't have to deep fry it. <laughs> You just can't just don't burn it that's it you just don't burn it <laughs> uh if we ever get if, if the opportunity ever comes up i know that there's a an atoning restaurant up in um one of the cities up north if you ever go there i'll give you the address it's mwah, chef kiss <laughs> hmm. yeah well let's see let's see um, how that works uh would you like to try some of this it's it's not bad I'm, i'll give it a solid Seven. All right. Um, um. So so I take uh, I take whatever lizard meat it is. Yeah, it's um, lizard meat that's so, been like grilled with um, several spices, so it's like kind of a deep red color. All right. So 
So let's see here. Let's see here. What, what, what am I going to roll for this one? <laughs> All right. Hmm. Is is the would the would the the, the lizard be the lizard's native to Atona. to Atona? Yeah, it's uh, okay. it, it lives is, in the sands in the desert. It is native there. All right. Okay. All right. I. It's okay. It's all right. I, 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 I feel you on the, Yeah, I feel you on that one uh, on the seven. Yeah, I got you. Mm. Uh, so yeah, uh, you two will uh, kind of like get through your your wee appetizers. So it was it was about six or seven. It's not bad. Not terrible. Not terrible. Mm. I should go. Okay, it's a slight improvement from last time. The last time I gave this a five. Well, right now I'm giving this a six and a half. Uh, I'd agree with that. Yeah, six and a half so far. <laughs> That's a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> she just that's just a scorecard going on here <laughs> like literally just this, like it is how I, it, I it's not how i go to restaurants and like i, I don't usually score like it, usually for me for me what usually makes or breaks restaurants is the is the um is the service mm -hmm. the food is the food can be like it's usually the service for me the food the food's all right sometimes but it's, mm -hmm. it's what the service that, that makes it or breaks it for me um so as, okay. you, as you two kind of sit back, a, a waitress will kind of come by and she'll see your empty dishes and she'll kind of like bow as she takes them away for you. Alright, so... Um... So I, I need to ask, seeing as you asked me so politely, how are things on your end doing so far? Well... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Malleus, Malleus takes the lamp. Malleus takes the lamp, places on on the on the table. I'm like terrified. To be honest, <laughs> the lead pops open and goes. It's, it's fine. I'll be fine. Actually, where's that say? Actually, <laughs> say it again. You'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Where's that city? Actually, where's the bath? <laughs> Closes lid. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, have I moved it? Let me. Have you have you moved it? Let me, oh let god, me... I gotta let me look at the map. Oh, you gotta check. I don't think I've moved it for a couple of days. It probably needs a bit of a shimmy. Where are where is you are here? There's the city. All right, let me give it a wee shimmy then. Uh, so it's currently down here. Do I? Would I have known this? Uh, you would have gotten this update this morning, yeah, because it's been about two days since your last one. Whew. Oh man. Uh again, that is a this is um let me I have to stretch over this. Where one. oh theater on the mind, there we go. Yeah, where's my cursor? So uh Oh this uh, one, we're still on the map. We're yeah. still on the map. Okay. Uh that's why it's not working. I need to go into the thing. Um this little um town here. Mm -hmm. Uh you and Colin definitely did visit there. Uh that's where the gnome incident happened. Gnome incidents? Where he got basically kidnapped for an entire night by a gnome, and then you had to rescue him because she was going. Ah. She, was, she was going out for supplies to get ready for round fourteen. Ah, right. That gnome incident. Okay. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. And that would be how long ago was this? Uh that was about six to seven months previous to the start of session one. Okay, six to seven months. And then from here we would go where, uh, like, what would be the direction that we would we would have traveled? Uh, you would have gone. There's a couple of wee towns and things up here, and then you guys uh, juked along this way. You got you, right. you, you managed to get a river crossing <laughs> before they okay. kind of closed that off. Okay, so so gonna, they're going to be heading down here, and then they're going to soon be making their way up this way. Okay. Not good. All right. All right. Back to the theater of the mind. <laughs> Lead pops open and goes, I think we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, at this rate. They're going to be here in another, God. Couple three of weeks. weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. Mia will kind of like, her eyebrows will kind of flick up and she'll go, no word from your celestial friends. <laughs> I turn, uh, I look at the lamp. No word from our celestial friends. Ah, oh, 
I wish, but unfortunately, Mikhail can't work a phone. <laughs> He's very old school, as you can imagine. <laughs> so, so what? We're just we're just waiting for him to receive post. Ah, uh, I hopefully he'll send at least a warlock, maybe. He was across the sea last I heard. He might be trying to get a boat. Uh, this, is, this is not... <sighs> well, yeah. let's not despair. There's still time. Despair is not... I'm not at that point yet. I'm, I'm on stage two of, of grief. <laughs> Isn't that the anger? Or is that the... the um... The bargain inside. I think it's. Hold on. So, uh -huh. so what are the five stages of grief? And I gotta look this up now. Five. I up as well because I can't remember. Stages. Oh, it's denial. <laughs> grief. Uh, it depends because there's a seven it, it, stage. First, no, no. First, first is denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Yeah. So the first one's denial, the second one's anger. Okay. Yeah, there, so, no. there is a seven stage version as well. So I'm I'm still on I'm still on stage one of of uh, grief. Uh, well, it only takes a boat to cross the sea. At worst it'll only take maybe two weeks, so hopefully they're well underway by this point, if they are coming from there. Yeah. Not looking forward to that. That's they they the, the way that things are going, they're, they're, uh, this city is tracking our in exact movements, Mount, uh, Colin and I's exact movements. And the way that things are going, they're going south currently to... Uh, look, look, go back to the map. Uh, that looks... Salon. Salon is uh, a city on the border of Salon is uh, in Ori uh, let me check. Orinava. Do I have that little place name? Uh, at least no, not in this map. Not in this map, at least. Do not have a named version because I have a uh, one that has like all the cities of Orinaba. I don't have one for all of here. Yeah. Yeah. So as of yet, unnamed town or actually yeah. city. It's a city. <laughs> they're, they're they're currently head. The city is currently heading down south to to a city that's on. It's on the the three way the three way um. Uh, border of Orinava, Atona, and Salanes. Then, it, by the way that things are going, like a bloodhound, it's going to track our exact movements north, and then it's going to eventually get here. So, hmm. maximum, maximum three weeks. No, excuse me, at minimum three weeks. Well, I will keep my fingers fingers and toes crossed that it, your friends will get here before then. Yeah, I'm. This is not looking good at all because it's it's being much quicker than I imagined. Ah, well, magical teleporting cities kind of don't follow normal laws, do they? It's not even. It's not even that. It's like they actually are tracking the exact movement. They're not like. They can't even, it's not, it's not even like a, like they're tracking us and going like, they, it's somehow caught, caught like our quote scent and going in, in, in doing a direct line. So, I don't know. It's terrifying to say the least. Knowing the story. And I look at the lamp again. Ramad will poke his head out and you go, it honestly wasn't that bad. There was gold, there was riches, there was hot chicks and bikinis. I said, what more could you want? I I, uh, uh, I I lift up a finger, I shoot a single bolt of ice at him. Ah, he sinks back into the lamp. <laughs> and, and then I'm actually I'm actually looking at the important person in this in this uh, in this uh, freaking uh, uh, in this freaking relationship. I'm looking I'm looking at the actual genie and not. And not the little shithead. Uh, imp. Oh, Promethea, I was drinking a bit of wine when you did that. She starts semi choking on it. She tries to laugh at the same time. <laughs> um, Doshara, on the other hand, would go, I'm sure it'll be fine. Think positively. Think positively. He's not let me down yet. Yet. <laughs> if, if we get really, really desperate, we can always pull the horn a second time. And he knows that we're in danger at that point. <laughs> yeah, well. Let's not. 
Let's not uh, stoop to that uh, yet, just yet. We're not in danger just yet. But Malleus, Malleus looks looks around. It's it's looking pretty pretty. They're they're it's looking pretty terrifying actually. Well, if you do need relocating, uh, drop me a message. I'm sure I can pull some strings to get you out here if necessary. I don't think. I appreciate that, but I don't think it's going to be make any use. If we relocate, they're just going to follow us anyway. So it's it's not... It, as you said, magical floating city doesn't follow any of the rule, normal rules, does it? No, that's such a shame because it does look really nice from the ground. Looks very otherworldly. You've seen it? Uh, not with my own eyes. I've seen plenty of uh, paintings of it. And obviously if you've yeah. met Lord uh, Lord Consort Pethys, he, he's obviously seen it with his eyes. And I swear to yeah. God, if he describes it one more time, I'm throwing a book in his face. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... Malleus, Malleus just, Malleus at this point is just, and he just shakes it off. He's like, yeah, well, other than that, I think, I think everything is going swimmingly. I think. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the, the team is doing well over, over with the, the, the magical Bullshit. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're doing fine. She kind of like, she's, she kind of like looks, looks up at the, the camera. <laughs> looks at the camera. She's she's kind of like wagging a finger as she's like counting something. It's as she's going through all the members and she goes, I don't know enough about Keytok and Everly to comment. The others, uh, hmm, slight mild concern. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. Oh, I'm sure they'll be fine. I don't know about everyone around them, though. <laughs> eh, does it matter, really? Does it matter, really? <laughs> she'll kind of eh, fold... it kind of does. It kind of does. Nah, eh, it kind of does. She'll fold her arms and she'll kind she'll of look to the ceiling and goes, Depends on who, honestly. Normal civilians? Yes. Everyone else? Probably not. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure they're not dying. I'm sure they're calling. I'm sure. I'm sure they're calling. Colin has everything under control. <laughs> Wonderful. Looks into camera. <laughs> Meanwhile, panicked screaming as the, as the chungus appears. Chungus. <laughs> the fucking chungus. Um. But yeah, she'll kind of like glance over her shoulder as um, she spots um, a waiter approaching and she'll quickly swap back to um, Inferno. And she'll go, well, I'm, I, I hope you're finding the, the city, all right? I recognize it's probably very different to what you've been used to the past few years. Yeah, it's, it's, and there's no issue per se, like just, you know, going I haven't been in a single place for very uh, for a while. Like I've just gone from place to place usually, and usually it's with uh, in the past year it's been with Colin. So it's just it's different. Um, a small smile will come, kind of creep along her face as uh, your main meals are put down, and she'll she'll have to say, "I have to ask, did Colin really kick the lamp?" <laughs> you hear Dushar grumble in the lamp. Yes. Yes, he did. He, uh, his foot caught on fire. But, yes, he did. <laughs> uh, Promethea smothers, uh, smothers a laugh and she'll go, uh, Maybe I'll get it out of Colin about exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so the, the meals have arrived, yeah. right? Yep. All right. Bro, is extremely average. Like it's not it's not even like terribly like it's just average. I mean, like, if you're rolling a d20, that's still like 
74, 75 percent. That, that's seven, that is exactly 75 percent. Mm -hmm. So like, so like, it's 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 above average, but it's not like it's like it's it's getting closer there, but it's still not the best thing I've ever had. It's definitely um, better than your appetizer. <laughs> it's definitely better than the appetizer, and it's like so. It's, so the 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 chicken hearts. The chick well, the chicken hearts, the poultry hearts. <laughs> the, 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 not necessarily chicken here. Um, in this case, in this case, the way that I personally like it is is we we put it, uh, we we like marinate them. We put them into like we put them into a a like a, like an aluminum like pan. Not like it's 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 aluminum pan foil thing, and we put them in on the grill for that for like that to cook in there. Mm -hmm. So. So that's the way that I like it. The way that most pe most places have it is it's similar to the um, uh, similar to the uh, the the steak on the on the giant on the on like this when you when you go into the different Brazilian steak houses where they bring you the steak on a giant uh, on like on like the, the the giant steak thing and they uh -huh. and they cut off pieces. Usually they have like the the, chick the chicken hearts on there and they and they and it's all like stuck on there and they and they like they take off like five or six of them and then they just put them onto your plate oh i see usually that's usually how they do it but but i don't um but the way that i like it i just like it's just but it's so huh you know what not bad not the best i've ever had but it's actually very good this one Mm. I think the last time I had them, they made them just a little. I don't know what they added to, or maybe it got mixed with something else, but it had a little bit too much of a kick to me. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's not over. It's not. It doesn't have no flavor to it, like like some places I go to that I've gone to. But it's also not. It's also just uh, nice and juicy. It's it's very good actually, like. So, let me take the Take house. Uh, let's see here. So, copy image and pasted dms oh one of those i see yes you see you see what i mean yeah like they usually bring it to you like that and they take off like a bunch of them so like it's that's usually that's what most people most ways you do it mm -hmm. but uh but what i personally like you know what i personally do is like like what, what the family does is we we, we put them into like on, on the grill essentially in, in like a giant giant like thing mm -hmm. i don't know what to say like and, and we marinate it and, it's not, and it comes out nice nice and juicy oh i see yeah it's, it's i'm looking at this i'm like okay i really really want to go to the uh uh v v v what is it called viva brazil yeah it's not viva brazil yeah. it's not viva brazil it's, it's the name it's the name uh, restaurant here. Picanha Brazil. Picanha Brazil is the uh, is the re is the Brazilian steakhouse. Uh, 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 pay by weight. That's that's the Army, and it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> on on Saturdays, on Saturdays, it's it's um. They got a whole spread of like different uh, black beans, black bean like setups with like, with like uh, uh, pig's feet, uh, uh, oh, sausage, right. chicken, <laughs> steak. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Anyway, but anyway, don't worry. Just... When you come to Glasgow, we're taking you to uh, to Viva la Brazil or Viva, Viva Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Yeah. It's that's gonna be great. All right. So, so I'm. Malleus is controlling himself mm -hmm. because if if it were up to him, he would have devoured it within seconds. And with the plate <laughs> itself. 
but he is controlling himself. So he's he is eating at a normal person's rate. <laughs> uh, Promethea is working her way through her one. It's like um poultry that's been like stuffed with like herbs and other mm-hmm. related things. And she's and... going this is quite nice. Uh touch on the dry side. This was the issue last time. I was a, I was a, bit, a little bit worried about <laughs> Um, uh, Malleus is, Malleus is, uh, actively, like, chewing with his, uh, and, and, and he, <laughs> consciously he, counting he, he the looks, chews. He, he is looking, he is, he looks up and is like, he swallows, like, this is delicious. You need <laughs> to try this right now. <laughs> I stick the plate out for her. <laughs> I stick the plate out for her. Ah, <laughs> uh, Prometheus will, will take it graciously, and she'll um, she'll take a bite and she'll kind of like pause for a minute before um she kind of like glances up to him, and then you can see she's very consciously true at it, and then she will swallow and she'll go. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have stuffed my face by this point. <clears throat> you have no idea how much I'm holding myself back. <laughs> She'll laugh. Oh, well, thankfully it's yours, and that, so I, I'm safe for the time being. This is active, like like this is so difficult right now. <laughs> so, and he's and so so there so there's the there's the chicken hearts there, and usually usually like most of the time it's it's rice beans and something called farofa. Mm-hmm. Farofa. Oh God, how am I, how am I gonna explain farofa? <laughs> Hold on. Cut off uh, images. Okay. Uh, let's look at a good one. Uh, that's that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Nope. Nope. Did not want to do that. Take copy image. Paste. How am I going to explain that to you? Oh, it's Cause, like um, because on the, uh, be- yes, but no, it's- because couscous is is very very fine. M- is much larger than this. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yes, couscous is larger than this. This is more fine. Okay, so it's a finer version of couscous, but it's probably also. And it looks like plan. sand. It looks like sand, though. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. It looks like sand. And and if you eat a lot of it at once, you need to you need to get a drink of water because you're about to you're about to be, you're about to like choke on sand. But uh, it's good. The cinnamon challenge, I understand. Yes, but it's good though. So, so you have it's this rice beans and black beans and uh, and like a meat of your choice. So, so it's and and it, and that is usually what most dishes are like it because it's it's a meat dish it's, yeah. it is a meat dish and there's a lot of rice a lot of beans and a lot of this because this is i don't know what plant this comes from yeah it, but it's it looks because good because it is great <laughs> it is great so yeah it's i don't know it is that's just how it how it be and 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 that, once again Malleus is trying his best to not eat all of the chicken hearts all at once because he knows that it's going to look very bad. <laughs> and it's, um, he's trying. Prometheus will, um, oh, while she's working her way through her meal, she'll, um, she'll kind of grin and she'll go, so my sister's brother, my uh, second youngest, uh, her husband, she, he was diving into that that one time. Until apparently it was a little bit too much, and he um, let, let's put it this way: he sneezed, and it was coming down his nose. Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't ask how. What? <laughs> Bards. What can I say? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> how? How even? I, I don't even. Huh? He was eating way too fast. Ah, right. Okay. Lit- literal well, shovel. Know... You know that's that's a okay. Uh, I'm just gonna now is just fault. gonna continue continue doing his thing because like it is it is he is enjoying himself and it's very nice food. It is very nice. 
Uh. All right. So. So he fin- Malleus finishes up. He take he he takes another he drinks he drink takes like a, a drink of the wine because he is obviously gotta be very his, thirsty after that. <laughs> he's very thirsty because he is very much uh very much it's as if you if you eat again you 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 had you get take a bunch of sand and put it in your mouth yeah but like it, but like it's it, it sounds terrible but it's actually good because it tastes good it's not sand that tastes bad yeah so. <laughs> The cat is around. So, yeah. I'm just wiggling this butt. Yeah. Okay. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. Yeah, Mally. That. Good boy. Was delicious. <laughs> he, 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 he leans back in his chair and is like, just contemplating existence right now <laughs> because, oh man, I, you know, again, not as good as moms. But man, is it close. <laughs> uh, 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 Mally, honey. <laughs> thank, uh, thank you. Uh, Bromethia, she'll, um, she'll go, um, would you like to try some of the sauce? It's actually quite nice compared to the bird. <laughs> Maybe that will help with some of the dryness. <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. So so what 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 would the what's the sauce what what, what do you th- um, what do you th- it looks like a kind of um a creamy sauce that has um little herbs and like peppercorns and things through it. All right. Uh, she'll kind of just like slide the the plate across so you can kind of like take it just straight from her plate. <laughs> Let's see. Because it's it's sauce. Let's see how this is. And it's like he's gonna he's gonna roll for that because he needs to he needs to actually taste it. As a, does not like it. As a lover to peppery. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. I. Mm, Hi, not my yes, favorite. I'll do what you not, not, <laughs> not. Not my favorite. I did, 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 nope. Don't like that. Did not like that. It's a little bit bitter for him. Yeah. Oh. No. Ah, I see. Yeah, that'll be. Yeah, there, there's a couple of herbs in there that could cause that. Yeah. It's. Uh. It's as if he's biting into a lemon. <laughs> it does have a bit of a, a lemon undertone to it, yeah. No. No. Is there, is there pineapple in that? What, what's what's going on? I think there's like a, I think there's a mixture of like a pineapple and a bit of a lemon zest to it, I think. I, oh, God. You can taste the pineapple. Just, uh. Touch on the strong side, yeah. I think they've probably put in a little bit too much. No, definitely not. It's, 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 <laughs> it's just not. No, yeah. Not for him. I, 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 definitely not. I just he 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 graciously puts it back and just like does like <laughs> for me, like for me, yeah, we'll take it back. Understand? Right. He's like he's he's making the noise. Yeah. He's like <laughs> and he gets a drink of the wine. He's like trying to ooh, flush it down. He's like. Uh, give me two attacks. It's cat time. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> I am back. Okay, I'm back. Awesome. Uh, Promethea will kind of like finish up all of our stuff and you're gonna go. So. I I realize this isn't for you, but my father, when he tried this, he had it with um, a fish one time. Uh, yeah, the following day he uh, he was kind of bedridden with food poisoning. Uh, that was a fun time. Whew. Um. Yeah, uh. I don't know. It's something with the overly citrusy fruits and, like. I don't know. It's something. It's something. Yeah. Too much for me. <laughs> well, well, maybe we'll wash it down with a dessert and get rid of that taste for you then. Oh, please. Please. <laughs> she'll grin and she'll kind of like wave down a, a, passing, a passing waiter. Uh, can we have the dessert menu, please? And you'll go, certainly, my lady, certainly. Uh, let me clean up this table for you. And you'll take away the, the plates. Um, and you'll disappear about 
two minutes later he returns back with the kind of the little dessert menu. All right, what am I going to? What what dessert am I going to DM? <laughs> I'm just getting food in my DMs. This is wonderful. Food yeah, that's porn. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's. Uh, what dessert am I going to DM? You know, you know, I'm just going to go with, with why, what my favorite dessert is. Like, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to go with a good old chocolate mousse because that thing, <laughs> let's see, let's see how well it, it, it goes up against my mom's. <laughs> nothing's going to go up against, nothing's going to go well against my mom's because not even a 20, not even a, not even a nat 20 is going to, uh, going to do better than my mom's <laughs> one. But let, let's see here. My and the thing for me is I go to uh, every restaurant I go to. If it has a chocolate mousse on there, I have to get it because because I have to I have to compare it. I have to. It, there's no question. I have to compare it. So let's uh, see here. Let's let's roll. Let's see how it goes. That's like so. um like um mizzle with uh, bolognese. Yeah. No, the, the issue is that the uh, chocolate mousse is good and bolognese is not. <laughs> Don't say that too loudly. He'll kill you. I he could try. I mean, he's gonna be within killing range within a couple of months. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I shouldn't say that. I think I'm just being hyperbolic. But like, uh, it's not that I don't like bolognese. It's just like it is far inferior to any other type of uh, any other type of pasta dish. Literally, <laughs> literally anything, anything, anything with any type of cheese sauce is better than that. Yeah. I fine. did have this it's one okay. pasta dish that, dish that was just like all herbs and things, and it was nice for like the first three bites, and then after that it got real sickly. Mm, nah. That that was a, that was an experience. Yeah, no, it's if when once it comes to like pasta dishes and stuff, uh, like pasta pasta dishes are my favorite type of food. Same. Unfortunately, because it's because it's just full of carbs, but uh, yeah, I need to. I didn't hang this up in my car and forgot to do, to do that. I'll take a picture of this later and send it in the DMs. Anyway, um, yeah. So, so I, I look, I look at, I look down the, the menu like, oh, okay. They got a, they got a moose here. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> she'll look at it intrigued. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. I gotta, I gotta try this. <laughs> it's like, oh, and his, what was this being compared to then? <laughs> Once again, mom's cooking. This one, on the other hand, is uh, this one, on the other hand, is a family. Uh, it's it's a, uh, it's a it's one it's a, it's a family recipe passed down generations. Ah, so it's got it's got a lot to live up to then. Yes, and and a lot to um. And a lot to, uh, you know, <laughs> there was one year, <laughs> not RP, by the way. Oh. One year, one year, we were, my, my grandma was making it. She does everything. She brings, she brings it out. We take it. We 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 take a spoonful. Try it. There's no sugar in it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She forgot to add sugar to it. I enjoy your sugar-free mousse. <laughs> Not even uh, like sugar-free mousse has a taste to it. This one's just just bitter. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, she must have been devastated. Yeah, we never let it down. Oh. Her, her, her son, and my, my uncle, my uncle, and <laughs> and never let it down. <laughs> uh I, I wish we had people in my family that could really cook, but the only one who has any real talent is my dad, and he doesn't really do it that often. He's just too busy. Mm. Yeah, let's. I don't know. It's. I I like uh, I I I I used to like looking at, at least following my mom around in the kitchen and just like helping her out. Again, not RP. Holy fuck. <laughs> 
Uh, Reprisa will kind of like smile and she'll kind of go, um, yeah, as most of the things I was doing my, with my childhood was following my father around and trying not to get stepped on by the other high lords and ladies. You'll be amazed how easily a halfling will step on you when you're three. Huh. Yeah, well. But look at you now, though. At least, at least you're making you're making one out for yourself. <laughs> uh, she'll kind of like glance. She'll kind of glance up to the ceiling for a second. She'll go, "Well, I didn't get any of the hate from my parents. That's for damn sure. They kept that to themselves." Yeah. I think I think my eldest brother took it all. <laughs> Grumbles under her breath. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Usually, usually when it comes to like height, being tall isn't really. It's not that. It's it's mainly a bunch of it's mainly a bunch of. Hey, can you can you go and grab this from the top shelf? <laughs> Uh, her eyes, her eyes sparkle. Then she goes, "Isn't there an unwritten rule where if a short person asks a tall person, can you get that? They have to do it." And yeah, <laughs> it, you, you got it. It's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll let me grab that for you. Of course. <laughs> and the E is. Farithia uh, laughs and she goes, "I cannot count how many times I've just done that to Rasfarn, Rasfarn, just to wind him up." That's <laughs> just. I don't even, I don't even, it's just one of those things. It's like, yes, I get it. I'm taller than you are, and I can reach it up here. It's fine. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll wait or we'll, we'll come over and, and bow politely and be like, ah, uh, what's the meal? How, how was the meal? Very good, actually. Mm. It's, it's actually very good. The waiter will bow and say, "Ah, thank you very much. We shall pass that on to the cook. So be pleased to know." Uh, Prometheus will say, "Yes, it was lovely. Touch on the dry side with that with that Elvis. That will have to say though." And she'll be like, "Ah, yes. The um, we haven't had a fantastic shipment in from from Atona for them, unfortunately. So not that surprising. Uh, but I will certainly pass that on, and hopefully we can get that improved in the future. Uh, would you like desserts then?" I would. I personally would, and I uh, look over to to uh, to, uh, to Promethea. She's kind of glancing down the menu, and judging from her eye flicks, you can see that she's kind of weighing her options between two of them. And then she'll finally go, "Oh, I can't say no to apple. It doesn't matter what it is. I just can't say no." Ah, uh, could I have the the strudel with ice cream, please? <laughs> Certainly, my lady. And you, my lord? I uh, I will. Uh, uh, please. The uh, the chocolate mousse. Certainly, my lord. We sh 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 it shall be here shortly. And she disappears off with the after writing it down, taking the dessert menus off you. So yeah. So so I I look over I look over to uh to Promethea. So uh, so you have the same thing with apple that I have this with the, with, uh, with chocolate. I see, huh? <laughs> she blushes. Pretty much, I think so. Uh, as soon as I see an apple dessert, that that's it. The choice is made. Yeah, it's it's that it's that chocolate and anything cinnamon flavored. Oh, apple and cinnamon is just mm, irresistible. It's kind of a hindrance. <laughs> it really should be classed as a disability sometimes. It's too, like I can't, I can't stop myself. It's it's very bad. There was that one time she says, and there's a bit of a, a blush creeping along her cheeks. There was that one time where uh, I kind of went on a bit of an addiction. Um, I refused to eat anything that didn't have apple in it for like three weeks when I was like eight. That's that's very fun. <laughs> no, uh... it's very is very strange though because. I, I just don't know what it is, but like when you when you make a dish that has cinnamon in it, it just I don't know. It's it could be a pastry, it could be like I don't know. It, 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 the the it, it's just how can something so coarse and so like it, it burns the skin if you have a lot of it on you? How can something that just tastes so good 
<laughs> Promethea will kind of like glance over her wine glass. I'll give you the warning now. There's this one pastry shop. It's supposed to be like one of the best competing pastry shops in the city. Don't have anything cinnamon in there. I don't know what they do to it, but it's almost toasted. And it really what? just ruins the flavor. Like, like it's like they, they, like it's, it's, if they, it's as if they like bake it or something like that, and they, they just like burn it or something. What's up? I have no that? idea because it, it's like cinnamon, but imagine it like a much darker, like almost charcoal black. It still has a cinnamon taste, but it's very tart. Huh. Eh. If you want to ruin someone's know. day, get them that. I don't know. It, for me, if it, if it's a dessert, it has to be sweet. It has to be sweet. I can't have a, a like a a tart dessert. It doesn't it, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Uh, my sister Kel's the opposite. If she, she can't stand sweet things. I only can eat sweet things. <laughs> <It's... laughs> Prometheus will, will kind of like nod red and grin, but like, uh, it's definitely a painful base. Uh. And Zabalius is just I'm like <laughs> God. If you only knew, like, like, like the joke, the joke for, like, the joke for me just is is in and of itself because of my name. Yeah, but yes. it's just, it's just so I can't <laughs> help myself. I just can't help myself. It's just so good. It is very good. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I do have a question though. I do have a question though, and you don't have to answer it. It's whatever. But Prometheus will look up curiously. But uh, it's how how do you just go about your day? Like, there's obviously there's obviously like like threats against you, right? Her eyebrows kind of curl up. <laughs> Uh, she'll kind of sigh heavily and she'll go, ah, well, let's put it this way. I can't go anywhere without having at least one pair of eyes on me. Yeah, like, so, so, I remember, so, so, before I continue, mm -hmm. before I continue, um, I went to her, I went to her residence, right? Um, her, you passed by her residence, her old residence. I passed by her residence. Her residence was, was, it had, it had signs of an attack, right? Yeah, it was a, it was a construction site, basically. They were essentially it was, tearing it down and rebuilding it. But, but there were, were there signs of, like, it being attacked? Um, not on the exterior, no. Okay. When, when you saw it, it parts of the building were being, were mid- I think there might have been like a couple of spots here and there, but for the most part, it was mostly a construction damage. Okay, so I'm not gonna ask that. Uh, so, 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 do you? How? You how, do? Where do you just? You have to sleep sometime, right? Because you can't be on on edge a hundred percent of the time, right? <sighs> Promethea will sigh heavily and she'll answer I sleep eventually sometimes it can be a bit difficult um, my leg throbs sometimes which can make it a bit difficult from time to time but it's healing slowly why? Uh, what the... what's up with the leg? she'll kind of glance up in an inferno she'll go in uh, that injury is taking its time healing Okay, and, and, and like I'm, I'm going, I'm going back in infernal to her. Okay, but it's is it just a normal injury? Is it just it, there has to be something else to it, right? She'll glance away, and while her gaze is diverted, it's just like it, it's under control. Don't worry about it. We're we're getting through it. I don't believe that for a second. That doesn't sound okay. Promethea will kind of like fidget with her fingers. Um, and still in Inferno, she'll answer quietly. It's a bit more complicated than that. Yes, it's just. 
I'd, I'd rather not have people worry about it. It's just politics and... You know, you know, if you just say it, and and I at least and we at least know what's go- like I at least know what's going on. We uh, I won't be as worried about it because the way that you're saying it, is saying it, I'm gonna be worried anyway. So you're just gonna just I don't know. I, you know what? I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to intrude any. No, no, no. Don't worry. Uh, she'll kind of like wave a hand and just kind of like brush it off, and she'll go. Collins has already worked it out. I'm not entirely sure how, but he's worked it out. Has he now? Yes. Okay. Well, if he's worked it out, he hasn't told me anything at least. I might as well. I, I would rather hear it from the horse's mouth than second hand. Uh, persuasion. Come on, man. Please. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> it's the 20. Oh, my God. He's so good. He is so good. Oh, he's so good. Oh, you beautiful bastard. Uh, Promethea will kind of bite her lip for a second. And uh, she'll kind of like lean on the table a little bit. And then she'll say, <sighs> "All right, I suppose you deserve to know know the truth. You've uh, she'll kind of like glance around the area and go, you're, you're definitely treating me, and I do appreciate it. I suppose I should show my appreciation back. Uh, Hold it. Wait, uh, is this something that we should talk in a more private location for this? She'll... Because you know, you know, you know how it is. I don't I, even even with us being here, just talking amongst ourselves, it could be more it can cause issues. I would prefer to talk about it where there's less ears. Yes, if that's possible, we can do that. I just want I just want to make sure that it's something. <laughs> I don't want. I don't. I don't want any surprise. Let's Promethea will remember this. <laughs> um, she'll smile and she'll go. We will once we find somewhere a little quieter. I'll. I'll tell you. Okay. Hold you to that. <sighs> I'm not used to having things held to me. That's uh, this is a uh, role reversal. <laughs> Man, the Nat 20 is really, <laughs> really pulling off for me here. <laughs> Holy shit. God, you beautiful bastard. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> if you pray hard enough, you'll, you'll get what you need. Oh, thank God. I was so worried about this role. <laughs> this particular role out of all of them, I was the most worried about. <laughs> Um, at this point, the waiter will come back with your desserts. <laughs> All right. Now it's time for, now it's time for, for the, for the important, for the actually important role. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Okay. Very good. It's very good. <laughs> it is very good. It's, it's about two notches below what, uh, what uh, I would uh, see, deem to be the absolute best. But it's pretty good. Yeah. It is nice. It is. It is nice. It is creamy. It is. It is a good texture to it. It actually has a taste of chocolate, um, and and it is not bitter, which is. <laughs> they remember plus. to put sugar in it. <laughs> this, is, this is a plus. So. Oh, there's a pen in here. Hi. Man, I. Uh, this is. Delightful. <laughs> uh, Promethea will kind of look up, and um, <laughs> she will start talking before quickly realizing that she's got a mouth full of apple in her before covering her mouth and blushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know, I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Uh, she will. Uh, she will swallow. She'll go. Um. Um. 
sorry about that. <laughs> nah, you know, no, 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 no. I understand. <laughs> and, and I take another, I take another a spoonful and just shove it in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, she'll, um, the tension that was there earlier will vanish as she kind of relaxes and she'll start, like, just diving straight into it. <laughs> Basically, I, no conversation while you two are I, puffing your face. I hold, I, I, I take a spoonful and I hold it out to her. Uh, Promethea will look up and she'll finish her, her mouth when she'll go, and she'll, <laughs> with a, with a, a slight flush, she'll, um, she'll gratefully take it. Alright. And she'll kind of like, right. she'll ha kind of like have it in her mouth for a second before her eyes kind of wane. She'll go, that's actually very nice, honestly. <laughs> right? <laughs> I have to add, I have to, I do have to taste your mother's though. If, honestly, if your mother's is better than this, I'm dying to know what it's like. <laughs> okay, I, okay, now, now I gotta actually think about this for a second because now, now I'm getting ideas. Okay. Um... <laughs> I need, I need, I need to, I need to get the recipe. Okay, I got it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I got a mission to do when I'm when I'm in uh, Scotland. <laughs> nice. Just bring the recipe list, and we'll try and see what we can do for our with our yeah. Scottish ingredients. No, 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 no. The only thing, the, there's uh, the, everything on that list will be is possible to get. The only issue would be a chocolate liqueur. Ah. Uh... That's the only problem. Because, because we need, because using the chocolate, the, the chocolate liqueur would be the bad, would be the only issue because I think we may be able to do it without it. But it's, it's a. It's an it's a problem. It's a problem because we need to get it because it, because without it, it may have a different flavor to it that if we don't. I don't. Uh, we do have chocolate liqueurs here, so yeah. But I don't want to like buy one and just like have it there. It's, just, it's not. It's not. It's not gonna. It, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So like, like I don't want. I don't want to like buy one and just like not have like be in or be like wasted. Like I mean, just oh, buy we'll, one for we'll, you guys. we'll find a use for it. I wouldn't worry too okay. much. I'm, I'm right, sure well, David will find a use for it if no one else. Absolutely, David will find a use for it, but it's fine. <laughs> he will find like, a use for it. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Well, well, well. I'll, I'll, I'll get the recipe and I'll, and I'll think and I'll work on it. <laughs> You'll have to probably do it in my kitchen because there's no way Scott's gonna let you do it in his. He's without, not gonna without... allow me. He's, he's not gonna allow me in the kitchen. The only thing I'm gonna absolutely need is some sort of like, like a whisker, like, like, like uh, a, maybe an electric I've... one. Oh, an electric one. Uh, I can probably get that arranged. Because like because because I sure as hell I'm not doing it manually. A that hand whisk not, can, can take a while, yeah. That is for sure not happening. Uh, Promethea, well, uh, she'll put a little bit of her strudel onto a onto a little plate and she'll pass it over and she'll be like, "Hopefully this isn't bad." Uh, to me, it's like there's no such thing as a bad strudel unless it's like completely soggy, but this is quite nice. <laughs> Uh, one second, I was reading emails. Um, let's see here. Uh, pa -pa -pa, let's see here. Let's roll for it because this for <laughs> sure I like can th be this is gonna be like be a three or something. Is this for sure can be sour? It is not. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Not not terrible. It's a good one actually. I like I like I personally do like uh, apple strudels and stuff like that. So it's. Not 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 a terrible one. It's very good. It's very good. Definitely not the worst one. Let me tell you about the worst one I had. It was uh, when we were over in Atona. Actually, this this was um, we had some fancy pastry chef come in to do it. Stuff your face with a mouthful, <coughs> swallows it. Uh, so uh, <laughs> he made like this massive massive strudel. Don't ask me why he made it so big. He dished it out. There was only one slight issue. He didn't tell us it was an apple strudel. It was a berry strudel. I was so uh, disappointed. <laughs> well, the worst one I've ever had was that was it was a strudel, but they burnt the apples. Why would you? Oh no! They they burnt the apple. They somehow burnt the apples. So it's like it was. It wasn't even a taste of like. It it, it was it was 
if it tasted like okay have you ever had a uh and, and mally just thinks himself have you ever had a a a piece of like a, a piece of toast or whatever you just you just had it in the oven uh, in, in the toaster for like a little bit too long and it starts getting black and you gotta like you like scrape the little black parts off but it still tastes oh, like burnt. no i hate it when that happens yeah, well, yeah, that was that, but like a uh, a pie. So a pie? How did? Oh, I, I, I'm not gonna question it. There's just some people that shouldn't <laughs> cook out there. It was the, the 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 filling. They somehow burnt the apples. I don't know how. Uh, reverse wizard. I'm going to assume. Hmm. Oh. Um, but true <laughs> story, by the way. <laughs> I, how would you burn the inside of a fucking pie? They, you you make you make the thing beforehand, right? You oh, they you, burned it before like, they put it in the pie. They burnt the apples somehow. They when, when the making of the apples, they burnt it before oh, no, making no. the thing, and they didn't think it was burnt. It was, but it tasted burnt. Uh, two ticks. I'm so sorry. It was bad. <laughs> G- give me a second. Mally has just brought in a mouse. I need to rescue it. Oh no. Mally. Okay, update. I've got the mouse in a cup. I need, now I need to put it outside. Okay, go ahead. Go, go, go. Okay, mouse is free. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's the first live mouse he's brought in. Ugh. Alright. It was just a little, there's just a young thing as well. Alright. I know I need a part, I know I apparently need to make get a biscuit bus. Okay, where were we? I forgot. Um. Oh, right, the, uh, we were just uh, sitting down eating and talking about burnt apples. Yep. All right, so we're getting getting past that now. Yep. So um, you two both scoff down your desserts, thoroughly enjoying yourselves. <laughs> uh, Prometheus willing back in her chair, very content, with a with a blissful smile on her face. How many glasses of wine? Uh, Prometheus is going to be on her second at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say second to. Well, let's just do that. Oh, All right. gods, I needed that. Oh, one second. Oh my god. A stream, a stream is. Okay. All right. Uh, All right, so. Uh... I'm assuming I'm assuming you you enjoyed yourself here with us. Uh, I don't think you appreciate how much I I am enjoying being up on the surface and not being underground right now. I imagine so. Yeah. Uh, uh, I asked uh, I asked uh, Ramad here to do a little bit of scouting, and uh, he gave me he gave me two options: either underground. Underground in the war uh, in the Warrens, or on the surface, and the first thing that came to my head was, I don't think she's she's gonna want to be underground. And I guess my inclinations were correct. The lamp popped open. You're welcome. That'll be three gold, please. Uh, you can go back in before I kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Closes the lamp lid. <laughs> For me, the yeah, will grin. Uh, you guessed very much so correctly. Thank you. Yeah, it's that place can be <laughs> something. No, no, no actual like light. Like it's just a completely artificial. You miss the sun after a while, and uh, let me tell you, she'll kind of look at her arm. She'll go. I miss having the tan, honestly. Uh, I looks looks at his blue skin, and I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's a little bit overrated. 
<laughs> She'll laugh. I think if a La Vista's got a tan, you just start going like navy or something. Yeah, I. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Like, like, we're this way because of the cold, not because of anything else. And I don't think uh, 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 I think it'll start going purple before anything else. She'll uh, she'll smile. She'll go. I've met one Tieflin who was bright, bright neon purple once. Uh, huh? Yeah, bright is neon that, purple. Is, is, is he sick? No, that was his natural skin color. What in the world? Uh, he came from another one of the the, the cold clans, not not Lavistus. Mm. Uh, uh, question, is that a new tiefling class? Nope, no, right that's... Uh, so the way I have it is Lavistus is the, the pale one, and uh, I always screw this one up. Uh, Mephistopheles? Or... Mephistopheles. <laughs> that one. Uh, that one is a kind of a more darker toned blue. Ah. Bluey purple, those ones tend to be. Yeah, navy color. <laughs> or indigo, rather, not In navy. Indigo, yeah. Yeah. But bright? Did you say bright neon? Yes, bright neon. When the sun hit, yeah. we couldn't look at him. <laughs> yeah, n what? Huh? Anyway, uh, whatever. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna think about it. Ah, uh, I wish I could erase that erase it from my mind, but I'm still blinded. Solar flare. <laughs> exactly. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, but she'll turn to you and she'll give you a warm smile and says, Thank you for this, Malleus. It was very, very much needed. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> Does that mean... <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly uh, what you were gonna ask there. <laughs> what? What am I gonna ask? You were gonna ask, does this mean that I'm good for the second one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that one. I'm gonna wait on that one. I'm gonna not now. I'm gonna do that at least when I'm at when we're walking outside. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right. Um. I uh, reckon it's time to uh, call the waitress over for the check. Uh, I'd imagine so. It's starting to get a little bit stuffy in here. She kind of glances down as the bottom floors are starting to fill up. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna. I'm, Malice is gonna. Malice is gonna wave the waitress over. Uh, the waitress will kind of well, wander over and say, uh, "Good morning. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, my lord, my lady. Was everything okay?" It was absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, like the check, please. Oh, certainly. She'll kind of write in a uh, little book that she has in her hands, and then. So yeah, a, l a little piece of paper will kind of effortlessly slip out and she'll kind of place it on the table by by yourself. Hmm. Yeah, I... Uh, gulp. L look at the, uh, the, um... The, 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 the paper and, uh, how much, uh, what's the, uh, what's the damage? Uh, the damage is 45 gold pieces. Oof, okay. <laughs> That's fine. It, it's an That's upper fine. end, so... It is upper end, but it's not like I, I wasn't... Uh, I, the the wine saved you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I was I was expecting that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to to uh take out my uh take out my 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 purse here my my pocketbook and yeah. I'm gonna go minus forty five. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. what I should probably have everyone do is actually go to the bank in the outer sanctum so you can get like your your debit cards. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna go minus forty five. I'm gonna go boop, and all right. Let's check the purse, and I'm at two thirty one. Got it. You're, you're still, Bro, you're I'm still st good. I'm, I'm still, I'm still rolling in the money. Holy crap! <laughs> that, that's I, I that's like realize. four whole health potions. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'm still rolling in the dough. Oh dear. All right. Uh, the waitress will kind of take the money, and then she'll kind of like cash it out, and she'll actually, pass you out. Actually, actually, I'm gonna, uh, I gotta, I gotta roll. I gotta. Uh, is tip? Is tip? Um, uh, uh, customary? Um, 
In a place like this, generally not. It's a little bit more upper class. They see tipping as a kind of okay. lower class thing. Okay, well, um, then, I'm, then I'm not doing it. Because <laughs> uh, everywhere, everywhere uh, once again, everywhere you tip here. So, like, I gotta, yeah. I gotta ask that. Yeah. Generally, here in the UK, you can tip, but you don't need to. Okay, well, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just not going to then. Yeah, so um, she'll like pass you just a, a confirmation of of purchase, and then she'll mm. she'll bow and say, ah, "Have a good afternoon, uh, my lady, my lord." All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up from the table. Uh, I, wait, hold on. The bottle of wine is still there. Is that yeah. still like a bottle? Yeah, uh, I'm the... taking the bottle. <laughs> you put the cork back in it. <laughs> Stuff it in the lap. <laughs> You don't, uh, you don't mind if I, uh, if I take this with me, do you? Oh no, help yourself, don't worry. Good. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally do that. I'm going to, I'm going to take the bottle, I'm going to stuff it into the lamp, and it's just going to, it, it, it imagine, imagine, like, imagine, uh, 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 Hermione, Hermione's freaking, uh, uh, a purse that has literally everything in there. Oh yeah. And she pulls out and pulls out like a ladder or something, but it's like <laughs> you just stuff it in there, and just effortlessly goes in there, and then and like, uh, uh, the Charl, this is not for you, by the way. Oh, of course not. <laughs> You're not. Uh, we're waiting. We're taking this home. Ah, uh, fine. I shall keep it in a safe place. Oh, but come on, no. Thank you. <laughs> and then I, I put the lamp back onto my uh, onto my uh, belt buckle, and it's like. But this time, this time, instead of giving her an arm, I'm giving her my hand. Um, Promethea will smile, and she'll she'll take your hand. All right. Now then, where is the location that you that you will feel comfortable enough to talk to? Me? Uh, she ponders, and she goes. There's a little park not too far away. It tends not to be too busy at this time of day. Okay, let's go there. And and then uh, we, uh, I I ask her to lead me because again I am very lost. Yes. Um. So she'll he lead you back out of the the restaurant and then she'll lead you uh, left down the street, following the wall. Um. Mm -hmm. After about two two or so blocks, uh, she'll turn right. And then up about three blocks ahead, you'll see that there's the start of a, a park with lots of trees overhanging the. Uh, the one thing, wall. one thing I'm, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm going to do a perception check to see if there's anyone following or if there's anything. All right. Stray. God damn it! Hey, it doesn't seem like anything. It seems perfect. God, I hate, I hate, um, I hate D and D. You can make multiple checks as you go along, so. Yeah, it just I'm depends just, on how often you want to roll for it. I was going, I was going to, I was going to make one leaving the, um, I was going to make one leaving the, uh, the the restaurant, uh -huh. and then one on the corner when we're we're making our our, our right, uh, uh, like a right in toward the 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 um, uh, the park. Not not like on like, we we made a we made a a left. We made a left, a left to at go the restaurant and then a right to at the restaurant, the a right to go. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm yep. gonna make another one over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, better. Uh, nineteen. You take a, a close look around you. Uh, you get the sneaking suspicion that there is a pair of eyes on you, but it seems uh, like a familiar pair of eyes. You're not entirely sure from where, though. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's like. I feel like someone's watching this. Uh, Promethea will kind of look up and smile and she'll go, That might be Shauna. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Then. I'm okay with that. That's, that's okay. I'll ask her what the body count is later. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, if it's... Uh, do I feel like it's Shauna? It potentially could be. It's a familiar okay. set of eyes. But it's, a familiar... uh, it's not a high enough a... perception to, to be able to discern. Okay. Alright. Is Shauna is Shauna magical at all? Uh she is a uh blade singer wizard. Okay. Can I is there like a check that I could sense her like arcana like isn't it just an arcana check? Uh you can do arcana or potentially you could do a portal sense. Okay. Let's let's do portal sense. 
because that is. Let me d let me double check what actually that uses to roll. Um, or is that just uh? This is your intelligence. I'm not sure I agree with uh, that. I don't have. I don't agree with that. Uh, let me make that your charisma. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't agree with that. The portal charisma. sense uses mine. Because uh, I also need to make sure that you have a modifier onto that. Because I've got a racial here. Um, so you are not rated, so it's not going to be as big of a modifier as if you were did have the right. But let's mm -hmm. try that. We'll see if that rolls properly. It did. All right, wait. Uh, D twenty plus a modifier. I got a plus eight. Yeah, so you should. For a you, modifier. Should, you should have a plus. So it's a, two. So it's a plus four. So it's a plus four for my. Your modifier my, is your ability plus your skill plus your racial. So my ability plus my skill plus my racial. So ability is four because it's charisma. Skill. What's Ar my skill? Arcana is that... skill uh, times proficiency. Uh... It's Arcana skill. Let, hang on. Why don't I try doing this? Uh, I think I made it intelligent because I was I was using Arcana. So why don't I just make that? If I make this a four, that should do that. So if I delete this bit because we don't need that um let me quickly run this and see what that does that's still saying plus eight okay it's still plus eight all right so i guess i rolled a 13 yes okay all right so um, what is that what does that give me you kind of flare your senses out a little bit you do feel the inkling of some portals like some old remnants of portals from ages gone by there is a couple of fresh ones, not too f nearby, but they hmm. they are close from what you can sense. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm still a little bit on edge, but like not as much because I think I feel. I I I, I trust that it's Shauna, but I still. Ugh. All right. So we continue walking over there to the uh, to the park. Mm -hmm. Um, and as you enter the park, you are almost immediately swarmed by an avenue of massively tall trees are uh, about 20 feet tall at the minimum these mm, are these are some, wow. some ancient ancient trees that have been here uh the park is not very populated at all you only see like a handful of people out in the distance there's a couple people and having picnics in the grass but it generally speaking it seems to be very quiet just now mm -hmm. um and Prometheus starts kind of like leading you around a kind of a, an overall loop around as um, flicks of sunlight begin to um, dance through the canopies over your head and flowers are kind of flooding the in between all the trunks. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, sorry. As soon as you, uh, like in the middle of you talking, uh, my mom like opened the door. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, no worries. So, all right. So we're so uh, is she she's still she's still taking me to where she wants to talk, right? Yeah. Um. She'll All kind right. of like take a look a quick look around, but, and as she's kind of like oh, they get into a more air an area kind of out of the trees, um, mm -hmm. where it's far more open. And then she'll kind of like she'll take a deep breath. And she'll make sure that she's speaking in Inferno and quietly in Inferno as well. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll glance up to you and she'll go, Okay, right, I suppose I should start talking about this then. So, the injury I've mentioned uh, is not healing. Mm hmm. What? So. We're not entirely sure why. Um, no apothecary can tell us, and we've got some of the best people on it, and even they're struggling to figure out exactly why it looks the way it is. Um, she'll kind of reluctant reluctantly look away. Imagine a a badly infected wound that's been left to go necrotic. That's kind of what it looks like, even though it gets cleaned every two to four hours. Okay, and and this is this from because I remember distinctly you 
for lack of a better term, freaking out over the broken the broken dagger uh, that Drac tenses? had. Yes. Like that. She'll squeeze her eyes shut and she'll go, Yes, the uh, previous family. Uh, well before my time, as you can imagine. I wasn't born yet. Uh, they disappeared for what seemed to be forever and we were very grateful for that, but uh, we have received a couple of hints that they might be back and they are understandably quite angry. Was that knife dagger, was that used? No, not that particular one, no. It was, uh, it was purely boss eye. Which brings me on to the next problem that we're having. Which is, is that the knife was poisoned. You assume so. It's a boss eye, of course. Yes, but... Initially, we assumed that the what was happening was is that it was used for extortion racketing. You know, the boss eye waved the antidote in my father's face, try and get some concessions from him, you know, vote for certain things for that he wants in, in Parliament and whatnot. Uh, and then he'd give us the antidote, but that antidote would be laced with another poison. Despite the fact that after the second time this happened, we examined it very closely and found no traces of any poison. Then there was that one time where I actually refused the antidote because I I just didn't want to be part of this gate chicken game anymore. And my symptoms completely changed on their own. As did the poison in my system. The poison is adapting by itself. We think so, but we don't know. Uh... I did end up taking that antidote and I don't know what it was, but it stopped the worst of it. Again, it changed it, but it's it was far better than what it was before, let's put it that way. Okay, so... Can I at least see the injury? Uh, she will kind of, like, flush a little bit, and she'll kind of, like, glance to look around, and she'll go, Why don't I try and show you on the cart ride? It'll be a bit more private. I agree. I agree, but I understand. But, hmm. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not going to say that I know more than your best men here, but maybe there's something there that I could see. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It's just plodding along at this time. Most days I'm functional. Some days I walk with a limp. Some days I need a walking stick. Some days I'm bedridden. Some days I'm not even conscious. It's... It depends on where in its, um... She'll do air quotes. And its cycle that it seems to be in. Hmm. Which was exactly why I made sure that for today, I made sure to take that antitoxin, she, again, she does air quotes, uh, two days ago, to make sure that I recovered and then was functional before it gets worse again. Okay. Hmm. It, Malleus, Malleus thinks to himself. He's, uh, one, he's, he's, cont he's like, Thinking of all of the options, all of the all of the things that could possibly be. This has to be some sort of like like they may be poison dealers, but there's there has to be there has to be someone else, something else mixed in there. It has to be something magic. Because there's like it can't be just the poison. It has to be something other. It's not. It can't even be just magical. It, can, it has to be something other. I agree, but 
we can't, whatever it is, we're not entirely sure what it is, and any attempt to mess with it causes it to change, and then that's just me on my, uh, on my bed for the next few days until my father finally gives in to the boss eye. I am going to focus heavily on her leg, and I'm going to portal sense. All right. I'm just going to focus on her leg. Um, you focus on her leg, and you, like, try to, like, see through something. But as you carefully kind of, like, try to see something, it's almost as if the second you, like, touch her skin, your sight vanishes. You can't sense anything. Even your own outside senses, you can't see anything. Huh? Like, like, if, like, is it her? Or is it, like, am I, am I, am I being blocked by her? Am I being blocked by... You don't know. Like, it, but, like, it's as if I'm being just, like... It's as if somebody just t took your portal sense and flipped, the off, flipped it to the off position. But I can't, like, it's as if my, uh, like, I just lost all sense? Like, yeah. of anything? Uh, so normally you have, like, a background sense of, like, portals here and there. Um, but yeah, for a split second, you couldn't see it. You couldn't even feel them. Okay. That's weird. She'll frown and she'll go, well, that's weird. So, if you could, if you've been paying attention to, like, me... I have this, this feel, the sense, let's just call it, it's, it's portal sense. So I can sense portals and, and other, like, and other, like, openings, let's just say, mm -hmm. the magical nature. But, and I'm, and I, and I thought, hmm, let's see if it, like, if I could focus just on your leg. But as soon as I did so, as soon as I like focus and I like I almost got to your leg, your skin, I can't. It's just as if everything stopped. It's I have no sense whatsoever. Nothing is going. Nothing happens. Uh, like it, Promethea will flush at that, and then she'll kind of like avert her gaze quite sharply down to the ground. Um, her fingers kind of squeeze your hand a little bit, and she'll go. Uh, that's that's nothing to do with that. She'll she'll point to her leg. That, that's just me. I'm I'm not a very good tiefling. Okay, what do you mean by that? I don't have portal sense. I that... can't sense portals. Okay, so but but that that doesn't. Okay, but. But from what I understand, it's like that, that doesn't matter if like like to your okay. knowledge. Every, to my knowledge. To your knowledge, every single tiefling in the world has some sense of portals. Even if it's very weak, they can still sense something. And Promethea okay. here can't sense anything. Yeah, but but my question here is is not the sen not the fact that she can't sense anything. Mm -hmm. It's the fact of why is it is like why is it that if I if I were to, it, like once I get to her, mm -hmm. everything else vanishes. Promethea will um she'll she'll swing her so, tail around at that point, and she'll kind of like raise up the the kind of tip of her tail and the the gold ring that's on it is kind of like jingling a little bit. And she says, in a very, very hushed voice in Inferno, she'll go, Ah, uh, this is why it's kind of blocking you. Uh, tieflings can't sense portals with this. Okay. Why, uh, but, but, um, so, so if I, okay, DM. Mm-hmm. The one thing that is that is getting me that is getting to me yeah yeah is I know it's you you're trying to sense her and then all your portal sense goes yeah yes that's so, so, that's what she's trying so, to explain like, there she is she is so 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 like like so it's it's literally shutting off my portal sense because I because like even though I'm not like physically going into her mm -hmm. like it, like I'm not in her body 
Yeah. Like, I'm just sitting out here, but, yeah. like, I'm focusing on her. It was when you touched, the, the, like, the skin to try and get it. That's when it switched. Okay. Well, all right. So, okay. So, wh- what is that and why? Why? But why, though? <laughs> uh, Promethea will kind of, like, keep her gaze ahead and she'll kind of, like, be quiet for a little while. Um. You pussy cat can sit there. Um, she'll she'll say. Long story short, uh, Mally, honey, pussy cat. Okay, you just want pets. Long story short, uh, when I was born. My portal sensing abilities were so strong, they were killing me. My parents ended up taking me to... uh, Mali, honey. They ended up taking me to the Keystone Temple of Zarmenos in Artona. And there they prayed for my life, essentially, for about three or four days straight. When I think my, my my mother ended up passing out at one point from exhaustion, and when she woke, I was no longer crying, and this was on my tail. It stops my portal sense from killing me, let's put it that way. I see. Okay. <laughs> The one thing that I can possibly imagine, like, like, the one thing that I can focus on, that I can try and see, is maybe, like, the only thing that I can possibly think of is maybe it is some sort of, like, I don't know, with, uh, with the poison at least, I'm trying to, f- f- uh, uh, that's the only thing I can imagine, that there is something in there that was placed in there that you can't see you can't feel and no one else can feel because of that ring but unfortunately if uh, what you're telling me is that if you take the ring off it'll kill you i'll probably have about half an hour before i drop dead most likely that's that's what i'm saying like i don't want to uh, however one flaw to your logic is is that because this ring blocks my portal abilities it also blocks all portals so if there was someone trying to make are a you portal, sure uh, Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm very sure. It took hmm. a long time for us to be able to figure out how I can traverse portals myself. Because it was just that strong. As soon as I touched it, it would want to close the portal. I see. Okay. Alright. I don't know. I don't know that. Uh, that's a little bit much, but that's fine. I... Uh, that's the one thing that I that I was trying to see, but it's a good idea, but uh, you didn't have the prior information. All right. Well, I appreciate though. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you telling me at least, so I at least have some inclination. Yeah. Try not to worry about it too much. It's my family's keeping it under control. So if you don't hear from me for a couple of days, you know it's kind of been its worst part of the cycle. And I'll be back Um, on my feet soon. I would have worried more if you didn't tell me anything. That was just me personally, but at least now I, I, I can trust your family to do what's best for you, I guess. Ah, they're trying their best. It's, uh, it's been hard on all of us. Yeah. All right. Let's go back, I believe. We need to... <laughs> yeah, let's let's start heading back. Yeah, uh, Promethea will kind of look up towards the sun as the, the sun's starting to, like, meet the horizon. I suppose. Time to go back under. Yeah. <laughs> um... So Promethea right. will lead you out of the park and back towards the, the, the warrant entrance that you came out beforehand. Yeah. So we'll we'll go back down, we'll get back down on the on the tram. On the on the cart, whatever. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, we're going back to the location that she that we met in. Uh, Promethea is uh, does the the rune, and it does look different to the one that normally goes to Front Thrust HQ. So you can assume so. All right. Let's... So I get uh, I get in. I I help her in. Uh, so for, after Promethea paints it, she'll uh, take her hand to go back to help get helped in, and she'll sit down, and the the carriage will take off once you both are in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see it. Uh, she kind of like closes her eyes almost reluctantly, and she uh, slowly pulls up the the skirt. the The wound is relatively high up on her thigh, just on the kind of the front, the outside of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a quite a thick bandage covering it, and it the bandage looks very very fresh. But even then, it looks like there's tiny little bits, dark patches over where the wound actually is. She will ease the the bandage off very carefully, and as she peels it back, you see that the wound is extremely raw looking. The out the the flesh looks kind of like almost rolled away from where the opening of the wound is. Um, and those kind of rolled over furrows are black in colour and the colour descends down into this kind of a dark, reddy, green kind of mixture to hue as it goes down into the wound. Necrotic. And it stinks. Yeah, I saw. The bandage did an extremely good job covering the smell. Alright, I'm gonna do a medicine check on that because... You... Examine the, the wound as much as you can. Um, aside from looking very necrotic, um, you do see that there's potential hints of some strange uh, colour patterns to the, the way that the dark reds and the dark greens interact with each other. But other than mm. that, it, you're not entirely sure what's causing this, because the wound itself looks very, very clean. There doesn't seem to be any reason why it should smell as bad as it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's uh, the the only thing I can uh, possibly th oops. the only thing I could possibly think of doing is like doing an Arcana check on that because like that's the only other thing because the medicine check is for like a poisonous thing or oh, right it'll be mm -hmm. like poisons. Me medicine like, medicine other... will check for poison. Yeah. Yeah, the only other thing is I would think of is an Arcana check, but like uh, you I can roll Arcana just now. I'm gonna I'm gonna get help from I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna ask uh, I'm gonna ask for uh, Ramad to like see if he can help me out with this one. See if he sees anything. Yeah. Physically help action. So let's see here. Eighteen. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, you with Ramad's help, you kind of study this. But Ramad will kind of frown and you go, I ain't feeling much magic, but it does look pretty nasty. Hmm. Doesn't feel magical at all to me, boss. That'll be two gold, by the way. I still feel back in the lab. Prometheus <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of smothers a smile. Yeah, I can't see anything. I, I, at least I don't. I don't. Uh, at least from my knowledge, I have no idea. That, that that's very strange. <sighs> don't worry about it. We'll get to the bottom of it eventually. Yeah, we will. Um, <laughs> she'll start to cover it back up as soon as like the the kind of the pad covers it. The smell just vanishes, and then she'll like tightly wrap the bandage back around. Yeah, we will. I keep on saying the word we. <laughs> Yes, well, not much I can really do about it. Just live, you know? Get on with life. That's it. That's it. Gotta just try to find some, find the solution. That's it. But hey. Hey, if there's one thing... If there's one thing... That genies are good at, though. Granting wishes. <laughs> she, uh... She laughs and she'll go, Oh, uh, I'll hold you to that one. I may, I may need to borrow one of them at this rate. We'll see how it goes. Well, well... Um, the shower kind of coughs nervously within the lamp. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, yeah. At least we'll 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 get to the bottom of it. We'll get to the bottom of it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So are uh, you got right. planned up for the rest of the evening then? As she looks down the tunnel as it begins, as the tram begins to kind of like slow down a little bit. Honestly, I don't know. I got I got I I I guess I gotta. I'm going to get back to the. I'm gonna get back to the house and see what. See what mischief and mayhem. That the uh, that the others have gotten into, because I know for sure that the. I know for sure that the that the five the five of them left to go deal with the deal with the 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 wizard, but Drac stayed behind. Uh, I look and forward I heard, to that report. And I heard that. Uh, God, what's his name? What's what's the guy's name that that Jack Drac left with? Say it again. His name? Jack Van Daniel. Yeah. I heard that uh, I heard that Van that Van Daniel fella inside the house. So she'll kind of close her have, eyes and sigh. Oh. Must have left. Uh, he must have left with him. I swear to God, if Van Daniel gets any more dirt on me, I can't afford any more coffee cookies for him. Uh, you know, I don't know about I don't know about getting dirt on him on you in particular. Yeah, uh, he he likes to get his nose into everything. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, a bit of a, a relaxing evening for both of us, hopefully. Probably, probably I'll just stay, uh, stay, uh, stay, in, uh, stay inside and deal with whatever yelling that Mitra has for me. <laughs> I'm amazed she hasn't had an aneurysm, honestly. You know, you know, I think she has, and she's just, just toughing it out like a, like a crazy person. Maybe she's secretly undead and she's never told us. Maybe. She for sure she for sure looks human. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. For, for me, they were kind of roll her eyes as with a smile. Um, and the, the cart begins to, to, to slow down a little bit before it pulls into the, the station. Uh, the Warrens look a lot busier now that it's starting to approach the evening. It's a lot more crowded mm -hmm. down here. Alright, so I... So I get off. I get off the. Uh, I get off the cart. Uh, the cart's in the station, yep, right? Yep. So I get off the cart, I, and I help her off. Uh, I go. Steps off. <laughs> yeah. I, I go and I ask her. Same time next week. <laughs> Prometheus will look up and she'll she'll grin and she'll go. <laughs> Make it two weeks from now. I'm afraid I'm a bit busy next week. Okay. Well. Uh, I guess that's a yes then. Uh, it is yes. <laughs> All right, two weeks. All right. Uh, is that is, when does that coincide with Let me the? Let double check. I'm getting the D and D calendar. Is this one? It is on the big screen, so I can see it. Alrighty, so we are here. That's Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday, and then the Wednesday after that is actually going into June. So it will be June the third. That is literally the day before uh, the deadline for van for um, Vanishing Act, which is the last big one for your second lot of missions. Okay. Well. Uh... If that's the day before the second, uh, the, the vanishing act, and that's fine because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to get, I don't want to mess, get, uh, miss another one of these, uh, miss another uh, uh, mission. I want to mm -hmm. actually do, because I for sure, I just didn't want to do this mission. I wanted to, uh, like, I, I, oops, I didn't want to do that mission. I, like, I, I just didn't care for it at all. Yeah. No worries. So, I'll, so I will. Uh, I will for sure be a part of this uh, the, the next couple of missions with the with the party, and I will be, and I will go and do the um I will do the 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 one that I have we have to go to the to the party whatever it's called the ball. Yep, that one. So part one for that is in two days time. So it's the Wednesday just now. So that's on the Saturday. The deadline for that. Okay. 
And then the second half for that is about, so, just under a week after that. So, okay. it'll be the, the the Friday after that. Okay, well. And you got Murder well, in the Dark and Reforestation before then. Well, we'll, we'll do that then. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll do that and we'll get, we'll get that situated. But All at right. least for now, at least for now, uh, at least for now, uh, I won't be like, getting fucked out of another mission because I because I because of my own not stupidity but like yeah well, it wasn't something that you wanted to do yeah. I just didn't want to do it yeah that's fine uh so um Promethea will smile at that point she'll go uh again thank you for tonight oh before I forget I gave one of these to Colin so I'm gonna give one to you as well just in case something happens like this is just in case something horrible goes happen. Yeah. Uh, she'll dig in like a little pouch that she has attached to her dress and she'll pass you a little, a tiny little glass vial that seems to have like a golden strip of uh, paper inside. Okay, so what this is, is essentially will remove your dominion marks. So all you have to do is crush the vial in your hand and say the dominion has fallen. You and everyone within 30 feet, their dominion marks will vanish. Um, so this really should only happen if you see a golden rat coming up into your um, your base, because at that point, that will basically mean something is going on, Vossai are attacking aggressively, and we want some of our forces to be able to get out of here alive. It's basically the same for open warfare. Oops, why did that happen? Uh, you, <laughs> you copied yourself. I... I don't intend on ever using this, by the way. She'll smile and she'll kind of flush a little bit of that. If, it's just in if case. If something like this... If something happens, I'm going directly toward it. You do realize this, right? Uh, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't do anything to try and get yourself killed. I don't want to drag you into family politics like this. I'm going toward it. Uh, she'll to pause for a moment and then she'll uh, manage a small smile and she'll go, Thank you. I, I appreciate it. You are not dying anytime soon. She'll blush at that one, and she'll go, well, I'll do everything on my part to make sure that doesn't happen. As will I. And then, on that note, I'm going to take her hand, and I'm going to kiss it. <laughs> uh, she blushes. And, and then... I'm gonna bid her. I'm gonna bid her good uh, good, uh, good evening. I uh, have have a good night, Malleus, and we'll, we'll talk soon. Yeah, we will. Um, sh the she'll go over to the the car system and she'll get you like a cart ready for you to take you back up to your base. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, and then go back go back home yeah when you step in the car as it pulls away from the station you glance back and you see shana just pop into existence beside her kind of whispering in her ear and her face and uh prometheus face goes beat red <laughs> she just kind of kicks shana in the shin <laughs> and is then... there god i got i really i on that note i'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sending, uh, because I'm going to sending her on my way back. Tell Shauna I appreciate the lookout. <laughs> um, there's a, a, a short pause, and then um, you hear a different voice in your head. And it's Shauna, and she goes, That will be 23 bodies, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, 
we will call it there. Uh, once the group gets back in, I'll probably bring you back in with the guys once they're all about ready home, because they'll probably already be home by this point. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Yay! That's, that's, that's great. Very good session. Very good solo Yay. session. Yay!